take me home, take me on a ride. I, I got a good feeling about the colors lighting up your eyes. Take me home, take me to the sky. I, I got a good feeling. Tell me the only thing you are. Just one.
Okay, good afternoon and welcome everyone here from the Netherlands, Eindhoven, the high tech campus at the FIDE World Youth Under 16 Chess Olympiad. That's a whole mouthful. We're going to host this event for you. Um, my name is Stefan Kuipers. I'll be the host of the entire tournament, but I won't be doing it alone. Uh, today and tomorrow I'll be accompanied by not only the president of the Royal Dutch Chess Federation, but also woman grandmaster Bianca de jong -Mure. Welcome. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so, we uh, have a very exciting event. We just had the opening outside, the opening ceremony. Yes. It was, it was pretty good, I must say. It was it lovely. It was a good atmosphere. Everyone yeah. was excited. It was dancing, music and, and laughter and it was... Um, nice sunny good. weather. It was perfect. Um, so in, uh, I think in a minute or eight, I can't really see what time it is now, but I think at, uh, yeah, at four... Ten minutes. Ten minutes, we'll start the games. I think it's good to talk a bit about, um, yeah, the format. Because um, ah, we have some image of the playing hall, that's nice. You see all the flag... It's I love such events. It's 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 brilliant. All these players from all over the world, um, everyone wearing their own jerseys. Um, they're all looking for their seats at the moment. Yeah, so we we're gonna play rapid. It's uh, 45 minutes, and now I'm not even entirely sure. I think 15 second increment. 10. A uh, 10. Yeah, I keep mixing up. Yes. 45 minutes and 10 second increment, and uh, that's it. So I think we're gonna see some. Well, high quality chess, but also yeah. mistakes, blunders, excitement. Especially when uh, time is uh, time is short, indeed. Yeah, so um, we will try to broadcast everything. We have more than 50, with I think 63 teams officially at the start. Yeah. And that means over 250 players competing. So it's going to be a big challenge to watch all the games. We have amazing view of the playing hall. Uh, the technical crew installed a million cameras. So we're not going to miss anything. It's it's absolutely amazing, um, but we'll see that when the games will start. We are here in Eindhoven. It's good to yes. mention at, at the high tech campus, um, the smartest square kilometer of Europe. Yes. And this week even smarter. So that's that's good. Um, yeah, we're hosting it in the Netherlands because it's a 150 year anniversary of the Royal Dutch Chess Federation. We are the oldest chess federation of the world, uh, even older than FIDE itself, and much older than FIDE itself actually. Uh, and uh, we're also the, the oldest uh, s sports federation of the Netherlands, so we're kind of old, but uh, we, uh, we do something for the youth uh, now, and this is really of course the future, and it's so nice to see all these girls and boys from all over the world uh, being here in the Netherlands, they are a very small country, Mm -hmm. and uh, enjoying uh, playing chess and competing against each other. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. It's a, it's a great event. Um, I think, yeah, players are looking for their seats. I do need some time for myself. I just don't have a watch. <laughs> chess, chess players <laughs> will not be able to wear watches anymore in the future no. when playing chess. So, um, yeah, I just don't care them at all. It's, it's my <laughs> solution. <laughs> Seven more minutes. Um, Actually, it's quite nice. Of course, we are in the Netherlands, so we we keep an eye on the Dutch teams, yep. which is, uh, yeah, I mean that's that's um, that's of course very interesting for us. Um, of course, we'll also look at the other games. But the funny thing is, we have a Dutch team on the top boards, but it's the fourth team they will play on board too. So that's um, that's interesting for us. I think it, it might be nice to have a look at the pairings because they are of course already out. Um, it's it's always a bit. Um, hard to see which teams are strong because the players are young yeah they are very talented underrated of course we all know the frustration as an adult chess player that you play against youth players always underrated yeah um, and also these are rapid ratings uh, they're uh, they're based on so that's different than uh, than long yeah. long ratings so it's going to be a big uh, big lottery almost yep. i want to say um, well we can see the top seeds are kazakhstan uh, china and turkey yeah and then on the fourth seed is the first team of the netherlands and list goes on, Hungary, Uzbekistan, Azerbaijan, France, Israel, Romania, that's the top 10. Uh, and this will be the pairings for today. Um, and we also have the board pairings, of course. Um, I mean, many strong players. I, I looked a few players up and it was amazing to see what they already achieved. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Aliyah Ansat, the first board of Kazakhstan, I think he beat Grishuk in the World Blitz a year ago. Um, uh, that didn't really happen that often to me, to be honest. <laughs> um, so they have some some big gym scalps on their name already, and yeah. so I'm excited to see what they can do against each other. 
Um, it's kind of interesting how the board uh, order is uh, is made because if you look at China, for example, board three has the highest rating. Why would that be? Do you think? Yeah, maybe because as you said, the rep rating might be inaccurate or yeah. could be based on one event. I'm not entirely yeah. sure, but um, I, I guess we'll find out if that's uh, if that's true. It's it's good to know that uh, every team must have both genders represented. Yes. Uh, that is um, that's uh, basic rule of the uh, teams, and the rest is as long as you're under 16, you're uh, welcome to play. Yeah. Um, and it's so nice that so many countries are participating. I mean, last year yeah. there were, I think, 23, uh, di uh, 23 different countries or 23 teams, and uh, we're now uh, much more. Mm -hmm. We're uh, 63 uh, uh, yeah. teams over 50 nationalities, so it's. Uh, very nice. Unfortunately, uh, a couple of countries uh, uh, couldn't fix their visa last minute, so uh, they, c they couldn't come, which is uh, really a shame because they really wanted to come and we tried our very best to accommodate them. But uh, sometimes it's very difficult uh, with visas. As I know myself, I tried to uh, get to India last year and I uh, didn't uh, succeed getting a, a visa on time. So I, d I know the problems. Yeah, you know the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's a shame. I do hope that those teams will get another opportunity in the future. Yes. Um, because also for the players, it's it's an amazing event just to participate in. You meet so many other um, chess players of your age from all over the world. Um, I do hope they, they connect. Um, here you see the, the beautiful player camps we have installed. Um, for the first two matches, we have yeah, face camps or player camps of every board, yeah. uh, every player. Um, That's I the mean Netherlands four. Yeah, these are beautiful, uh, beautiful shots. So um, we can follow these guys um, very closely. Yeah, uh, guys and girls, of course. And um yeah, that's a nice thing indeed. Eh? What you said, uh, Stefan, that each team has w at least one girl and at least one boy. Uh, that's one of the reasons we also wanted uh, this event uh, here in the Netherlands because we really like. Uh, uh, events where both girls and boys are participating and also together. So uh, girls playing against boys, boys playing against girls. Uh, so they're not all on board four, fortunately. <laughs> no, that's that's a good thing. Ah, I see. A I see some handshakes. I saw one handshake. Ah, yeah. That's just, the, uh, <laughs> that's just uh, the player meeting his opponent. Yes, probably. I was already confused. <laughs> uh, what, what do you expect of this this event? I mean, it's, as I said, it's it's 45 minutes, but I mean, we know kids. They play faster. Yeah. Uh, like, what do you expect? Do you expect it to be quick, or um, you think they take their time? Um. Uh, I think in the beginning, the first round, they will be kind of nervous. So uh, when kids get nervous, they play quickly, uh, mostly. So I think there's a lot of uh, quick, uh, quick moves, and also, well, the time control is not something you you play. Uh, I don't know if you play with 45 minutes a lot, but uh, I think it's not uh, very usual to, to play with this time control. So it will be uh, challenging for the players. Uh, should I play fast? Should I play, s play slow? Should I um, write on my score sheets? Well, I see in the they top boards no there, they don't have score yeah, sheets. That's a good thing. Uh, it's not obliged, <laughs> but you are allowed to, of course. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, well. I think it's challenging for the, for the players. What, what do you think? I think the first round is going to be quick. Yeah. Because the difference in playing strength should be significant in most matches. Yeah. Um, later in the event, it, it all depends on what kind of player uh, is sitting behind the board. Some are, as I mentioned, few of them already played like World Blitz and the big events, yeah. um, European Championships and so on. Uh, that's from the, the players I, I, I briefly saw in the, in the top. So some of them are already experienced players, uh, yeah. but others, well, um, maybe not so much. Uh, no, for example, the the last seed is the Cayman Islands uh, with with one player with a rating and and three without a rating. Uh, well, th for them probably is their first international tournament, uh, which is very exciting, and they play against Slovakia, who are 32, uh, 30 second placed. So. I think it's uh, going to be diff difficult, but uh, there are more uh, countries. Also in the top, there's a there's a lot of uh, uh, difference in in ratings. But uh, again, ratings uh, will not say uh, everything. So I'm very curious. I always loved the bottom boards in Olympia. Yes. To be honest, yes. I was um, um, lucky to be able to visit to Olympia as a coach, and. Those lower boards, I mean, so many different cultures. Yeah. It's just amazing to see because 
normally you, you don't often see those players in those countries play, but it's it's what makes this event so beautiful. I mean, you see the top players everywhere. They play always. They play at the big yeah. tournaments. But just the lower boards also are uh, exciting to see. Yes, definitely. So I think I hear some arbiter I yelling. I think I hear an arbiter yelling We hear the yelling chief arbiter well. yelling, I think. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the same. So they're probably going to start soon. It's 4 o'clock and the, the, the games would start at 4 o'clock. So I think uh, they're, uh, they're getting ready. And uh, we have some refreshments here. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, we're going to start. I see. Yes. Yeah. We, we have, have moved. started. Yes. OK, yes. so now the interesting part begins. <laughs> what are we going to watch? <laughs> well, let's, let's start uh, on the board one of, uh, of uh, Kazakhstan 1, I think. Yeah, I think that's you need this to help me out yes, a little bit, but yes, I think we have that board at the moment. Uh, this is it, yeah. Uh, white is Australia, and uh, Kazakhstan is uh, black. So uh, this is uh, this is the start, Sicilian. This is what I play as well. Not this one, right? Uh, well, sometimes, yes. Ah. It, I mean, you can still go either way, right? Yeah. Um, Knight of six will head to uh, Sveshnikov. Yeah. Or maybe a classical Sicilian. Um, you can go for e6. You can, I mean, you have options here. You can go for g6, more of a dragon approach. I would expect the black player to actually make a move at this point because. Um, yeah, why is he thinking? Yeah, that's already the first good question of today. Uh, thank you. Mostly, this is even in the classical chess, so you do this pretty quickly. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, he's, uh, it's nice not to be able to see the players. He's yeah. just sitting back and thinking, what, what should I do? Probably he didn't expect this somehow. I'm know. not sure how is a prepare. I, I, I talked to the, the coach of the first team of the Netherlands yeah. before the round, and he said, yeah, there is time to prepare. Um, but I mean, my, my kids are already strong. Uh, they can do it themselves. And you don't have that much time. I no, mean, you, don't. you need to lunch, you need you know relax a bit. So I'm yeah. um, not sure if they prepare that much. But I think we're just going to, uh, we have a, for the people at home, we have a big overview of, uh, of many boards right behind <laughs> the camera, so we're trying to see um, what's going on in a, in a quick look. Um, and ah. it goes for Knight of Six, yeah. Knight of Six, still, uh, still <coughs> all, uh, always it can still go. E6 or uh, G6. D6. D6. I mean, E5 is popular, but I wouldn't play that against yeah. a lower rated opponent because the Sveshnikov tends to be somewhat drawish. Yeah. Um, so I suppose he will go for D6 instead and go for the classical Sicilian, which is, I think, a somewhat underrated Sicilian. It's, it's pretty tricky to play. Mm -hmm. um, I always like playing it with white, actually. Ah. Oh, you should teach me. <laughs> 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 because I have no clue. <laughs> I shouldn't have said this on stream, by the way. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. We're just going to... Yeah, I, I think the second board? Yeah, we just uh, introduce the, the players a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Um, because Kazakhstan, as I said, is the is the strongest team. Board two is playing uh, Suleiman. If I yeah, that's S correct. Satanov. Yeah, Satanov. Oh, sorry, no. I, I there we go. I clicked the wrong board already. Uh, you should help me out a little bit. Um, White Daniel Satanov. Ah, Daniel Satanov. There we go. Yes. This is also uh, so this one is a dragon playing against the uh, Terui Gang. I think. S accelerated I'm dragon. I'm gonna mispronounce so many names this week. <laughs> Yes, indeed, Accelerated Dragon. Also, this is a big rating difference, by the way. Board 2 is rated 1,700. Yes. Um, playing black, he's going to... Yeah, I think Australia 1 was uh, first board 2,097, so he's a good player. And second, third, and fourth board is around 1,700, 1, so it's, uh, the, the difference will be uh, kind of uh, big. Although on uh, board 3, there is... Um, uh, from Kazakhstan, there's 2,091, so it's uh, a bit lower already. But uh, again, the ratings uh, will not say uh, that much because it's rapid ratings. Yeah, indeed. Board three. Oh, this is interesting. Mamadov. How did this uh, occur? This is the Catalan. Oh, yes. Infamous. Is that normal? I don't play Catalan. Me neither, but it looks pretty normal. 
I've always learned oh, how to develop your queen so often. That's, so a, that's a young player there. Yes, it is. Is it the third board of. Yeah, that's the third board of Australia, I think. Yeah. yeah it's nice. It's up to 16 years, but uh, it's also open to, uh, to kids uh, younger than that. If you're strong enough, it doesn't yeah. matter anymore. Yeah. Yeah, so Australia, uh, it's, it's quite a trick. I'm qu quite excited them that they made it all the way to, uh, to yeah. the Netherlands for this event. Uh, also Kazakhstan, um, here with five teams. Yes. That's a lot of teams. Yeah, definitely. Then yep. you take things uh, serious. It's, yep. it's very cool to have so many players here. Uh, it's an active chess country anyway. So um, I think they hosted the World Scholar yes. Championship. Not sure what's the official name, but uh, yep. I think World it was uh, uh, recently. Championship for schools. Yeah. Pri primary schools, I think. Exactly, yep. that's the way. So and they had a World Championships match, uh, of course, earlier on this year. Yeah. So uh, I believe the, this event was also uh, an event which they had their eye on, but... Uh, you uh, <laughs> <laughs> sneaked it away from them. Yes. Okay, I'm and the last... I'm sorry, Kazakhstan. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the last board of this Kazakhstan team, which is uh, Nurmanova playing against Cheng. And um, yep. they also I, have I played this with black before. I didn't really like it anymore with black, actually. Oh. He is, um, whoa, he's going a bit crazy here. There we go. So here you have multiple moves. You can do uh, knight uh, to b5, knight d, b5, uh, after which you can move to a Sicilian, uh, to, to a Sveshnikov. Yeah, this d6, is the, uh, bishop f4, e5, bishop c5. And then you move to uh, uh, Sveshnikov. The famous transposition. Yeah, but there are also other uh, possibilities. Uh, you get knight takes c6. I didn't really like those kind of variations. You have bishop e3, which is okay for black, I, uh, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. And you can switch to like Scheveningen positions with, uh, with black, uh, except w after knight takes c6, of course not. Uh, but there are multiple uh, options here. Ah, there's uh, the the game, which uh, White is thinking. They're, They're thinking very uh, early on in the opening, yes, all of them. It's yes. surprising. And normally, like, one of the players knows what's going on. Yeah. Uh, but now they're both... I don't want to say they're guessing a bit, but uh, they're oh, Bishop E2. trying to find their way in this opening. Bishop E2 is also a possibility, which is the the a possible transposition to the Scheveningen after, for example, uh, Bishop E7 or... Black does bishop e7, d6, a6, queen c7, castle. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have the, the Scheveningen style. And the white does uh, short castle, f4, a4, uh, bishop e3. Sometimes even g4, g5 yes. to launch the attack. Yeah, this can be yeah. entertaining. Yeah. They're pretty nice, uh, nice games I played here with white and black, actually. Mm. We have an expert. That's always good. All right, let's, as I said, let's try to at least introduce most of the top players. Um, yep. As long as nothing too exciting is going on, we can have a look at uh, the second match, which is between uh, China, if I'm not mistaken, and the fourth team of the Netherlands. Yes, correct. So and China have a good team. They have um, uh, 2,214 on the first board, 2,100 on the second board, 2,380 on the third board, and and the girl, 2,160, uh, 2,170 on the fourth board. The Netherlands 4, which is actually kind of nice, it's a whole Eindhoven team. Mm. Uh, and uh, they have uh, all the local heroes here, which are also good in their, their own age category uh, in the Netherlands, but not all under 16, but there are some under... 14 and maybe under 12 as well, mm -hmm. uh, so which is uh, which is nice. Yeah, most of the Dutch players in, in all the teams are um, Dutch champions in their yeah. age, like m even multiple Dutch champions. So we have some pretty strong teams. Um, well, at least th the strongest national players are, are playing. Uh, they yeah. need to prove themselves on an in international stage. Uh, but so far, that's looking good. Um, this first board is Sasha Kurt against. No, Sasha Kurt playing with black against Howen Shue. Yes, correct. And that is um, a bit atypical for youth players. This, yeah, how do you shoot? How, how do you call it? These three row systems as wide: the one G three, one B three. 
Um, is it typical for youth no, players? No, not typical. Yeah? No, no, not, not, not typical. No. no. And um, but it's nice. You can you can choose your setup. Black can do the same. Um, normally, the game takes a bit longer to really get exciting, uh, but that's okay. I really didn't like these kind of positions. <laughs> Difficult, huh? <laughs> yes. We in Holland, people maybe should know, we are very tactical players, open position players, Sicilian players. Yeah. Um, you're being taught not to play 1D4 until you're like 2000 yeah. or 60 plus. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, we are more like the E4 players and very theoretical in those openings. And, yeah, um, and tactical. And this yeah. can be difficult yeah. for our um, young talent. Yes. Okay, let's pick up second board. Second board is uh, uh, Tommy Grote with mm -hmm. White against uh, Chao Tong. Tong Chao. They're kind of far. Yeah, let's just see what happened there. Yeah. Tommy is well, one of the uh, he's exceptions. He's yeah. Yes, he's playing D4. He's the one D4 he's not player. 60 yet. No, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> Tommy is one. I think both his parents play D4. Don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. So that's why. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm curious what my kids are going to play because they have one E4 player, one D4 player. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Gonna be a big battle. <laughs> yeah, Tommy is one of the um, the big talents in the Netherlands. Um, so he's a very exciting chess prospect. And yeah, playing board two now. I, I mean, he can he can beat anyone. He's 12, 13 years old, something like that. Yeah, I think 13. Yeah, I think 13 too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a solid chess player. And um, he has quite some experience on the European and World Championships as well. Yeah, temporarily sacrificing this C4 pawn, but that's okay. You will get it back later. And in the meantime, he's trying to get some initiative. And I, I guess maybe he's interested in playing like a quick bishop g5 and d5, which looks very dangerous for black if you Definitely. don't respond. Accurately, yeah. Yeah, and... Um, it's a nice attacking position. Yeah, and if the attack doesn't work out or the initiative doesn't work out, you can always just recapture the pawn. And yeah. You're quite happy either way because, um, yeah, playing with the isolated pawn could be bad in end games, but you have the initiative normally speaking and yep. you can just... More space. Yeah, more space. It's easy to play. Yep. Okay. Then third board is uh, Chiang Rui Kong against Alicia Feng. Yeah, it is. We have a similar position, but with um, opposite colors. Also isolated pawn position. And as black, it's quite tricky to end up in a position with an isolated pawn. As white you can do so because you're white, so you're up like a yeah. tempo, you have the initiative. Yeah. But as black it's very hard to gain the initiative when you um, have the isolated pawn. So, and that's what you need, so it's, it's always yeah. a bit tricky. And um, Yeah, I think this is also the first match we've seen where both genders play each other. I think the first match they were both playing board four, but here Alicia is playing the third board um, yes. against uh, uh, Shang Hui Kong, and we'll see that on more often, of course, yep. uh, during the event. But it's uh, there it's are also nice. countries who have more than uh, one girl, which is uh, nice as well. Yeah, I mean, why not at, at that age, yep. especially? There's there's not so much difference yep. um, between them, so yeah, it's good. I, I wish this uh, this tournament would have uh, be there mm -hmm. when I was young. It wasn't. Uh, it, it didn't exist yet. But, uh, when did it? Really when did it? I don't know. Start. I, I will no, look no, it up. <laughs> now I will look it up. <laughs> I mean, you pretty much uh, begged to ask me that question. <laughs> to ask you the question. Yes. With that introduction. Stop the time. <laughs> yeah, you look it up. I will go to yes. the fourth board. <laughs> and um, and actually, the fourth board of this match is the only Dutch player I don't know, which is Boyd Lenen. He's playing against Miao Yi Lu, and they have a symmetrical position almost. Uh, also 1d4, there's a lot of 1d4 in this match and not a single e4 game, which is um, well, a bit surprising to me at least. <coughs> it started in 1979, that's the first event, 
and then the second one was in 2001. Ah, and okay. then it was pretty much every year. Yeah. Ah, 2001, I was still under 16 then. Yeah. But I didn't participate. We maybe didn't maybe participate maybe as didn't Netherlands. Maybe qualify. Were you good enough? <laughs> <laughs> Then, then I was. <laughs> now not anymore. Oh. <laughs> yeah, very symmetrical position here. Yeah, very symmetrical indeed. Yes, yeah, so I, I am. Okay, so I'm. I, I think I want to go back to the second board of this match, because there at least something is happening there. Because what happened is that in the, the game between Tommy Grote and Xiao Tong is that black is hanging on to his pawn, which is yeah. always interesting to see because it's quite a dangerous, it's, it's dangerous what he's doing. He's giving up his bishop. Yes. I'm a big fan of bishops. I could tell you that already. And then he hangs on to the pawn. Yeah. And Well, if, he, if you have time, then, then it, it's okay. If you, for example, uh, put a knight on d5 and uh, try to consolidate the position, a6 indeed, bishop b7, rook c8, then it's fine. Mm -hmm. But the mm. problem is probably that you don't have enough time after, for example, b3. Well, b3 is knight d5 maybe, so it's not entirely clear. The question is what do you do after a4? I think that's because the a6 is not possible because you will take yeah. and there's this pin on the a file, so mm. you can't take back. That's yeah. a big problem. So after a4, you can't play a6, then what are you going to do? Knight d5, maybe? Yeah, that looks like a healthy move because you can stall the let's game a little bit. Yeah, let's see what... If I go here, you might have some knight b4 Yes, I'm indeed. not sure if it's a big deal, but I don't like it. Okay, let's say I'm just going <laughs> to... Queen e1, it looks like a bad move, but let's just say I'm just going to get rid of all the concrete yeah. moves and put my queen on the safe maybe space. Maybe bishop a6. I don't know, it's, it looks a bit strange, but after that you, you threaten b4 as well. Which, after that you're kind of a, a pawn up. That's a good move. And then knight a5 and... For some oh. reason, yeah, this happens every uh, now and then. I'm not sure what's happening, but then... Chess.com is going uh, all wild and going through all the games. Okay, can't really get the game back either, so that's, that's uh, strange. That's strange. Maybe it just disappeared. Okay, that's a pity. Ah, no, ah it's not there it is yet. again. Okay, we'll look into that. So A4 is played. A4 played, 95 played. 95 played. Okay, it's 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 a bit of a problem because maybe we do have to allow. Queen c two. Also, the life board. I can't really switch either. <coughs> yeah. So I, as I mentioned the previous time, after queen e one. Knight before is still possible with tempo because you have this knight c2 threat. So maybe I should just go queen c2, more active move. Yeah. And then if you go bishop a6, as you just mentioned, I can. And then you can take the pawn. I guess I can take here. There yeah. won't be any tactic that no. will. Oh, there might be knight before. Okay, so this is getting tricky. Queen e2, you can take on c4. Queen mm -hmm. takes, you go rook c8. Rook c8. And then you have knight. Uh, I thought knight c2 was a double attack on these two rooks, but. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but still, white gets some initiative here yeah. because now you're stuck with this bad bishop, I think. Black, mm. yeah. And white's, white's just in trouble. Yeah. The light squares are strong. Yeah, this is. Yeah, and the isolated pawn is really isolated. It's really isolated. Okay, so. Uh, I think this is the current position in the game. Yeah, 95. So it might be troublesome for white. You you can go queen c2, but I don't think you can. I don't think you should focus on these pawns. Maybe you have to try something else. Yeah. Maybe maybe knight g5 is an option. And then maybe uh, maybe you won't see uh, it. No sorry, no G6. no. <laughs> mouse slips. <laughs> Blame the mouse slip. No, I want to go to e4. Yeah. And then go to c5. Yeah, that's nice. And then nice. pressure the bishop. I I don't like g6. It's. Uh, as they say in Dutch, gatenkaas. Gatenkaas. 
<laughs> There's cheese with holes in it. Cheese with holes. <laughs> yeah. But what are you going to play the knight of six back? Maybe you should because you're Maybe, taking d4. Yes. And you're also not allowing knight e4, but yeah. now can I? Now maybe you can take on b5. Yeah, maybe I should consider that. Or just bishop e3, because yeah, you can't really make a move on the queen side, it seems. Yeah. True. <coughs> yeah, maybe this is an option. Exciting, at least. Mm. Shall we go to uh, the Netherlands one? Yeah, we should introduce them. Yes. We should introduce them. Let's see if I can find their game. Board one, he helps with mm. the official opening of the event. Yes. By playing the deputy mayor, um, Maas van Lamschot, at the opening ceremony. And um, We asked them to play one move. <laughs> they never listen, do they? <laughs> they started to play an entire blitz game. <laughs> Chess players, you just can't stop them, can you? <laughs> and... We are trying to get a hold of their match. Yes. It's a big playing all. We're looking for them. <laughs> and I think so Yi Chen is uh, white against uh, Kazakhstan 5, Artyom Bogdanov. And Kazakhstan yeah. 5 is actually pretty strong still because it's uh, th they're just in the, the bottom half. Yeah, they have strong teams. It's amazing. Yes, indeed. And uh, Kazakhstan 4 is uh, actually one board lower, which is... Uh, on rating, Kazakhstan 5 is strong, and in Kazakhstan 4. It's interesting. Yeah, once again, the rapid ratings might be um, the reason why. I mean, look at this. We have cameras we can just move around. It's... Um, there is Netherlands 1. Yeah. There is Hichanan. And um, yeah, so as mentioned, we have quite some strong players. He has um, 2380, I think, Fida Master. Yeah. Um, his peak life rating was already 24-45 or something, so... I, I um, thought it was an... Uh, he just became international master? I think he has two norms, so... Oh, okay. I don't think just yet, okay. but... Um, and Close. second board here we see uh, is Arthur de Winter, who... Um, who did become international master uh, a few days ago, with his last norm. He did? Yes. Where did he score his last in norm? Germany, somewhere. Ah, I'm, I'm trying to follow the Dutch summer tournament, but he mm. played in Germany. Yes. Ah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, he al already won one of the big summer tournaments. He, I mean, he's doing pretty well. He's played the Dutch Championships. He qualifies for everything, and yeah, um, yeah, he's a big, big upcoming star. Um, yeah, first of all, the game of Hichan against Bogdanov. Let's have a brief look. I think this is uh, London. Yeah, it is the London system. Well, he moved to England, so um, <laughs> it's okay. Why not play the London? I see four. This is a, this is a funny move. I've not really seen this move that often. This is um, it's new to me. Normally, London players go c3, bishop d3, the castle, and then they look what did my opponent do and. And then react to it. Yeah. But he, um, I mean, Carlson introduced to London many years ago uh, as an opening to play like that, but of course, you can play it in any way you like, which is a good thing about the London, it's so flexible. Yeah. So, knight c4, d5, and knight e5, which is nice because you really want to have this square. So, it's a nice way to get your knight there. Takes, takes, and now black simply allows. Yeah, he maybe he has to. There's you want to go bishop b7 to prevent knight c6. Yeah. Because you don't really like to lose your bishop pair that early on in the game, I think. Yeah. But now if you go bishop b7, it's why bishop b5? Yeah. yeah, you and have to go king of eight. Uh, no, that's not nice. Sometimes possible, but not nice. No. no. So that's why, um, as we say in all, he chose eggs for his money. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to be such a day? <laughs> yeah, it is. He castled, and then knight c6 happened, which is a no-brainer. And you take the bishop pair, and he goes c3. And now I think what he's going to do is he's going to take it easy and just develop his pieces. And the good thing is, because of his bishops, he can always decide to open up the center and make the position yeah. open and use his bishops. Yeah. So it's. But yeah. if you're a black, wouldn't you want to take on d4, for example? So. To to maybe kind of close the position a bit. Well, then you should take on c4. Uh, you play c c4, c4 maybe, maybe instead. Yeah. But then you're you're closing. Yeah, that's the wrong color. <laughs> maybe first try to exchange the bishops with black. Yeah. So a move like a5 makes sense. Yeah. And then indeed. go bishop a6. Yeah. And then you can always try and to then exchange c4. or close. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. And then uh, play uh, good uh, good knight against bad bishop. Yeah. 
yeah, it's like a healthy move. But still, I mean, White um, should be happy. I mean, as a London player, you should be happy quite, <laughs> quite yeah. soon with what happens in the opening. Yeah. No offense to London players, but it's normally, you don't really have an objective edge, normally speaking. Uh, you just want to play the game. So that's what will happen here, pretty much. Okay, second board. Second I think board we have some time to uh, introduce all the players and then I think the action will start on most, most boards. So I think it's, uh, yeah. so far we're on schedule. Board two is Mark <coughs> Smirnov against Artur de Winter. Yeah. I like his name, Smirnov. <laughs> it's an under 16 event. <laughs> So here we uh, have the Knight of Sicilian, where there are so many possibilities these days. Uh, what goes from bishop c4, queen b6. This is tricky stuff, I remember. Uh, e6, queen d2. Uh, knight of is always tricky stuff. Yeah, but in, in this line, uh, you have some, maybe I'm mistaken, but I think you have some weird like knight d5 oh moves really? at some point. Not now, but Kay. there are some crazy things sometimes happening in, in these lines. Uh, but he just goes for the more regular setup, rook e1, yeah. You don't always have to go for the attack on the king side, you can always centralize and yeah. take it from there. h6, bishop h4, always be a bit careful that there's not a move like knight e4, yeah. go for this covered attack. Definitely. Hmm. Why not, actually? Hmm. Not played, but... Um, Maybe because of d6, which is uh, weak. Yeah, is that I guess a possibility? you take... You take. And then maybe you have something here. Um, can you play knight f5? I can always take on e4. That's a bit of, bit of a pity, I think. Yeah, that's true. That is but true. But maybe it's a move. I don't know. And then g7 is hanging as well. This is getting funky. I like the move. You have to be careful of bishop g5 somewhere, though. <laughs> yeah, you at least win back the pawn, it seems. Because I have intermediate checks to solve some issues, and yeah. I can play d5, but then this bishop is hanging, yeah, so indeed. I will always give back a pawn. But maybe I should go for something like this. Maybe mm -hmm. I should go for... d5, yeah. okay. Because the thing is, if you take on h4, I, I, I pretend that your knight is a bit awkward now. Can you, you go go back one, uh, two moves? Yes. Here? Can I play something strange? Something Can strong, I you mean you want to take on d5? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know me longer than today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there some mating? There's, there's, uh, there's, never, there's never checkmate, there's I think. C c7, right? I'm running yeah, away. Yeah, it's not possible. You're running Too away. Too bad. Too bad. You can run and you can apparently also hide, it seems so. Yeah. Okay. No, but there should be there should be something wrong, uh, I guess, with knight e4. I'm not sure what it is, but it feels like there's an issue somewhere in yeah. this line. And Probably. Um, Your king is not um, safe yet, so there's actually uh, it's too early for these uh, strange y things. The thing is, you don't want to calculate this for 20 minutes no. in a rapid game and then no. not play it or still play. But you know, there's you don't want to end up in a position which is too difficult to play. So no. he castles. Queen e3 and defending the pawn, maybe, uh, I guess, going out of this whole tactic. Mm -hmm. um, queen c7. Maybe to be able to play b5, bishop yeah. b7. Yeah, I guess so. The queen is a bit strange uh, on b6 anyway. Yeah, it's, it's weird how these queens are being played to b6 in the opening for some reason. Yeah. But eventually they have to move anyway. It's yeah. It's always hard to explain why it's okay on b6 and then why it should go back to c7 again. Yeah. This is just your typical Sicilian position, I think. Yeah, uh, white seems a bit slow with the attack. It's hard to pull off g4 now. Yeah. Because you want to go g4, g5, of course, to try and uh, open up. But I think also with the bishop on b3, which is not very typical for yeah. most Sicilians, there's also this f4, f5 idea. Yeah, indeed. But okay, the bishop can always be captured, so. Or f4, e5, maybe. Yeah, f4 seems like the, the most logical move here yeah. to um, to consider for white. Um, I mean, you have f4, you have you have king b1. I mean, these are the the healthy moves at your disposal. Um, maybe you can even consider bishop g3 if you want to exploit this yeah. queen move somehow. But I don't really see how you're exploiting it. 
um, with this move. But um, yeah, I guess king, I think I will black king b1 and then see what black does and probably b5. I, I can just play the moves. Something like this makes sense. And the question is, do you want to protect your pawn in a way, but it feels a bit slow? Yeah. Or you're just going to go f4 and move the pawn and... Yeah. But then b4... What to do? Pawn e4 is important. I know, stuff like this always confuses <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, it confuses everyone, I think. The thing is, if you, as a white, if you go e5, you always forget about b4. And if black, if, yeah. you, if you go b4, you always forget about e5. Okay, knight uh, g4 is tricky. But then yeah, you take on d6 also. Ooh, it's very complicated. I'm not sure if I have an attack now. Maybe it's nonsense. Um, but it feels like something like this. Yeah. Uh, should happen, and after b4, you probably play a normal move instead. Yeah. Like knight a4. Uh, I'm not even sure if the pawn is hanging. It might be. I think it is. Why shouldn't it be? Because there's always tricks. That's true. But maybe not not now. There will be a lot of calcu calculating later on, so uh, it's good to have a lot of time. Our two is 10 minutes uh, ahead. I think he'll try to keep that uh, time advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so valuable. Yeah. Uh, now it seems like nothing, but if you have like 11 minutes against one, then you know it's, yes. it's valuable. Definitely. Because 10 second increment, it's um, it's basically nothing. No. Especially if you come from this rapid mode of play, then you have time to finish a winning position, but it's yeah. very hard to play enough moves to gain some thinking time. Because the thing is, yeah. if you have 10 seconds, like five seconds you're looking at your clock, yeah. the other five you're thinking and yeah. you don't really and think at all. And then you also have to move. Yeah, it's <laughs> confusing. So, um, yeah. All right, interesting game. Let's see the current position right now is after Queen C7 and um, Mark Svirinov is um, well, thinking. Yeah. Let's pick up the third, third board, which mm. is Pajit, I think. Kumar, yes, uh, against Danis Kuandikuli. Sorry, what was the name again? Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he th uh, thought for a long time. London. The, the Kazakh guy. It's interesting that there's so much London. So, he, yeah, he goes for qu Queen B6, Queen B3. Actually, the London, they always say it's quite boring, but actually it's a very entertaining opening mm -hmm. because you have both so many options. You can pick any kind of position you like. Yeah. Um, so many moves to try. Uh, that is a bit surprising. Queen d8 back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, it feels a bit like you're losing some time here. Yes. By going queen b6, queen d8. Um, maybe black is a bit scared of, of a move like queen b6, a b6. But I think, okay, so let's say you go bishop e7. That's not too bad, it's right? It's never a problem because this pawn structure is actually quite okay. You have some pressure on the a file. You have your rook activated for free. But they're uh, kids, right? Maybe uh, Dennis uh, thinks, okay, I don't want to exchange queen so, uh, so early on in the game. True, true. Or maybe he just knew that queen b6 was a move, but then he didn't like it and decided to move <laughs> it away yeah. again. Yeah. I mean, it happens sometimes. Yeah. I mean, we've all had that some maybe your coach told you to play yes. this opening, you learn the moves, yeah. and then you're behind the board, you're like... Wh why on earth would wh you play this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, uh, why is my queen on b6? I want to yes. put it back. Yeah, um, Yeah. this is okay. On, on bishop c7, you have bishop d8, so yeah. you're, you're completely fine, I guess. But okay, he, um, he decided to bring the queen back to d8, bishop b5. Now you have a uh, two tempi uh, up. Feels like Lights. it, yeah. Bishop d6. Now white takes on c6. Why? Voluntarily. Uh, I think because of some tricks, because um, bishop d6, queen d6, and a queen a3. Mm. And this might be um, troublesome for black because yeah. you can go knight d7, knight but after knight b3, you have yeah. no way of defending your c pawn. Well, yeah, yeah. It is a, just a healthy pawn. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can try to go for something like rook. Rook B8, I wanted to say, to at least 
put some pressure, but... Um, Still, you can just take with the pawn. Yeah. yeah, and now, okay, black can pretend that you can go e5 and you sacrifice yeah. the pawn for initiative, but I yeah. I don't think you will get away with that explanation. I don't think so. So, so what is the position? This is it. 20 minutes up. No, this is it. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't like it, the black player. No, I spent a lot of time. Yeah. Spent a lot of time. All right, fourth board. Fourth board is uh, the girls against each other. Dana Maria Verheyen. Yeah, Dana Verheyen indeed with black. Ooh. Against Maria Kolyavko. What's wow, going on what here? is this? Okay, let's pick this one up quickly. It's nice, Sicilian, the, of course. The, the girls are playing very aggressive, I like it. Here we go, knight d7, g4, h6, takes, takes, h4, there we go, four nice. pawn attack. White is very fast. Queen yes. here defending the rook is very important. Yeah. Because bishop takes. Oh, you're missing your black bishop now. Yeah, maybe you, you, you are. You don't want to do that, right? No, but the thing is you also want to win some time. Yeah, that Because is also, true. this scares me a little bit because you have g6 yeah. and... Yes, indeed. Bishop can come to h3 as well to attack. Yeah, this is not funny. Now, black needs to win some time. I think that's yeah. that's a good... Nice, rook d2. I good like idea. it. Yeah, that's nice and flexible. You defend c2, which could be useful whenever yeah. black piles up on the c file. Yeah, you can go to h2 maybe in the future. Yeah, you can double up here because the h file might open up. Yeah. So bishop b7, so black normally pretends like nothing's going on. Yeah. But rook c8, that's, that's a dangerous move. I think he you should at least consider castling queenside yeah. at some point. Yeah. Now you not you don't have the option anymore. And you don't want to castle kingside? No. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so rook c8 and now g Yeah, okay, that's just... Yeah. No one say begging for it, but yeah. Yeah, the, the position it. is asking for it. Yeah. yeah. Knight of six. Mm -hmm. Take on f seven. No. No rookie one. This is what I like. Just build up the pressure. That's yeah. These these moves moves look very logical when you go through the game. Yeah. But to come up with such a move yeah. is nice. Often quite difficult. So rookie one b four and now the fun starts. I guess not quite yet. Knight f four. Queen c five. Queen b three. I like the ge geometry in this. Yes. Queen b three f three. It's very nice. It's looking good. Defending here, defending here, attacking there. And knight takes e4. No. Yeah. That Take was on f7. Yeah. Th this this is the game. Ah, so this is the game. Yeah. Yes. G f7 and king f8. Ah. And queen e6. Interesting. So knight d2 <coughs> is queen e7. So that's not a, not an option. Uh, what does white want to do? Yeah, it's good to rule out a few things, yeah. So knight e2, queen e7, as you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, checkmate. So first of all, material, why does up a pawn? Yeah, but a pawn doesn't really matter in, <laughs> in this position. No, it's, it's, it's always good to know. Uh, yeah. I always like to um, get my facts straight first before yes. uh, diving in. I mean, you can... I just need to know what happens if I take the knight. Yeah, I always take everything question. I can take. What to do? I think the solution is quite easy. I think you just take the knight on e4. Mm -hmm. Bishop takes. Because yeah. if you if you don't, there's a checkmate here. There's a threat possibly yeah. there. Uh, so and I guess bishop, bishop takes. takes. Is, uh, queen takes c8. Yeah. Yeah, or um, maybe this is forced checkmate. I'm not sure which is stronger. Mm, maybe, indeed. Um, it's very open. Bishop b6. Maybe queen g6. Bishop g8. Yeah, th this... B Okay, th this should be checkmate yes. at some point, and if you yeah. take the rook, you're also supposed to be winning. Yeah. So that's a pretty clear refutation of queen takes a4, because there's not much else you can do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think black is just dead lost, to be honest. Yeah, I also think so. This is very tricky. You, the king on f8 is a terrible one. What's played? d5? Yeah, she played d5. Okay, maybe it's a rescue. Well, you would be very happy if ca you could change uh, queens here with black. Yes. That will make a huge difference. Yes. 
Okay, but I'm going for the same line. Um, I can still take on e4, right? Yeah, I was also looking at that. Takes, and I can take the queen on c6. And then... Now if you take with the bishop, ah, I'll yeah. take the rook. And yes, but... Uh, yes. And you have rook d8 in the end? Still, yeah. It's winning. Yeah. And if you take with the rook on c6, you have rook d8 immediately. Yeah. And I suppose that this is also winning. I mean, yes. the knight is a bit awkward, but you should be able to... Consolidate, yeah. Uh, unless the pawn is running. But it's hard to believe, the right? king is very close. I don't believe that. Yeah, also e3, you have bishop g4. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there should be a way to, uh, yeah. to manage all this. Okay. Yeah, it's so difficult for uh, for Dana. And this is just one variation. I'm pretty sure there's more ways to. Yep. Um, On rating, they're kind of equal, so it's um, it's a nice uh, nice fight. It is. Okay, so we've had the top two teams, and we covered the fourth team, which is the first Dutch team. Yeah. And I guess it's a good moment to see which game is very exciting and. I yeah. think maybe it's good to go back to the game of Tommy Grote against uh, Xiao Tong because we looked at the game previously, but it's it's uh, it's it exploded. Yes, indeed, and maybe nice also to say where we're streaming uh, this uh, this live broadcast and um, maybe to see whether people uh, have comments in the chat. We can uh, we can talk to them. So uh, we're streaming on, on two places, mm -hmm. right? In uh, the in Twitch uh, on the Aurora Dutch Chess Federation channel uh, and uh, on the YouTube channel of uh, Ofida uh, right now. And uh, at least in Twitch, there's the possibility of uh, of the chat. So uh, I'm curious if um, if we have any uh, chats uh, there. We're going to ask the people who are checking at it because unfortunately we don't have it in, in our screen uh, here. Uh, if you have any comments, please uh, let us know. If you have any questions to uh, either Stefan uh, or me, uh, please let us know. And then uh, maybe also which game you would like to uh, to see. And then uh, we can uh, take a take a look. Mm -hmm. Queen c2 was played. Knight c4 played. Queen e4. Mm -hmm. F5. Ooh. Queen is going places. E5, yes. Knight c6. G3. Queen is being hunted. Yeah, it is. F4. But black is overextending a bit. Yes. Feels like it at least. That's what I also think. If you if it's you manage to hold on to these palms and limit white in the options and possibilities, then you're doing a good job, I guess. But yeah. it's not so easy to yeah, do that successfully. You're weakening your pawns a lot. Yeah. I mean, you're a pawn up, uh, of course, but I don't know. F4 is uh, is very far away from <laughs> from the other pawns, so it can become very weak. C4 is obviously weak. E6, oh, I don't really like the pawn on E6. And white is kind of stable. Okay, the queen is in strange places now, and you need some development, but the structure is pretty okay. Yeah, you're up a pawn with black now. That's yeah. That's a good thing. Uh, and here, queen g4, I think it's a clever move. Attacking e6 and also getting knight g5 in there. Yeah. And now queen f6 is played. Which is also clever because now knight g5 is getting a bit more tricky because knight d4 suddenly yeah. is, a Indeed. is a problem for white there. Mm. I think black has everything under control, to be honest. I think black is much better. Uh, for the record, by the way, we don't have any engines here. Yeah. So we're doing it on pure brain power. Yes. <laughs> Which <laughs> if you make stupid mistakes, please let us know. <laughs> yeah, or don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Um, I don't see how you can break free as white. Black is controlling so many, I mean, look at knight and pawn, I mean, they're covering yeah. so many squares. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to find a square, ex I mean, you want to go to e4, but what yeah. piece is going to e4? Yeah. 
uh, the A knife, file. The knight would, would be nice, but yeah. you don't have the possibility yet. Completely no. stuck. This bishop's yeah. hard to develop. Maybe you should go for something like this, but yeah. very passive still. Maybe rook a3 to develop the, the rook that way. I always like the side maneuver uh, mm. with the rook. Rooks lifts and swings. Yes. But black has more space, uh, so more space for, uh, for his uh, pieces. If he can uh, keep the activity and the pressure, then uh, it's uh, probably okay. But if he can't, then, then it's going to be difficult because your structure is kind of ruined. Mm -hmm. But still there's the pawn up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it almost feels like the... Maybe you should... Uh, maybe you should go something like this, you know, the typical bishop d2, bishop b1, but still after bishop d2, y you might, might lose the d4 pawn. Yeah. And if you don't play bishop d2, then... Uh, it doesn't really work, though. Knight d4, knight d4, queen d4, bishop b4. You have to trick me, right? Yes, of course. Hmm. Yeah, even then you can. Uh, okay, I want to take on b2, but there's still a little problem there because. Um, um, e6 is hanging. Yeah, and also rook b2 is picking up the bishop on b5, I think. Yeah. So. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do like how confident the black player is and how insecure the white player is looking at the moment. Um, that's a big difference in yes. body, body language there. Yeah, definitely. Nice observation. Knight g5, you still played it. Ah, of course. Okay, so knight g5, I guess he's planning after knight d4 to take. Yeah. Queen takes, take on e6. Knight e or knight e6, it's also possible. Also possible. But I think this is. Yeah. Now you want to mate. Well, that would be nice. <laughs> I don't expect Just it to work, but. No, I but show them that it's nice. I mean, you want this, The yeah? classical one, the classi yes, exactly. Yes. That one. one is really nice. I, I've never been able to play it though. No? Have you? Well, not in the classical game. No. But in. in uh, yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, online, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a. Po okay, so it means you have to take with the rook on f7. Yes. Um, but this still looks very dangerous because <laughs> you're still down this bishop, and rook e8 is maybe even coming. Yeah. Um, it's looking terrible for white still. Yes. And I think the same goes after knight e6, because now black can even make a queen move, queen e5. And you get a similar position, but the queen's on e5, and this one is still here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. F3 is a nasty little threat, maybe. Yes. Not looking good for white. Um, and yeah, white is getting tired of this. <laughs> 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 a very massive yawn and I <laughs> go, oh, what did I do? What's <laughs> oh. Well, he's what? playing against a good player, so it's not a shame. Indeed. Also black looking tired. <laughs> <laughs> but black may, may have the excuse of a jet lag, so it's, yes. uh, it's okay. Came all the way from Kazakhstan. No, from China. China, yeah. Even further. Exactly. Okay, um, I'm, I'm just have a look, having a look at what's happening um, in the other boards and where we should focus on right now. Anything super exciting going on? Maybe we, we should just pick up the first board? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. First board, first match, let's find that game. And um, because this turned out to be um, of a turn into um, in um, Sveshnikov. Because we left the game here, where Black was thinking about what to do, and so the ninety-five is um, it always used to be like a sideline, but then the Caravana Carlson World Championship match uh, was played, and Caravana chose this as his main weapon against the Sveshnikov. So now it's um, it's um, yeah, it's a very respected line mm. again, maybe um, because you steer away from all the theoretical Sveshnikov like positions which tend to be quite drawish and here there's more for white to play for the position is a bit more exciting what's going on is that white has the advantage on the queen side the, 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 the pawn majority I mean on the queen side you have this four pawns C can I make colors probably not I can 
<laughs> Oops, sorry. Um, against three for black, yeah. so white has the um, extra pawn there. And the same goes for black on the king side. Black has more pawns there. Yeah. So it's more like a red race than um, than it is a, a typical Sveshnikov position. And black can, that's a good thing. Black can go for this, this rook f6, sometimes g6, h6 maneuver, uh, which is nice because suddenly black is just going for the attack without using his g and h pawn. And white typically, typically goes f4 to keep these pawns yeah. um, well, where they are, pretty much. Yeah. Not allowing too much f pawn advances. Yeah. Can, can be tricky. Imagine. So e4, a5, rook h6. Now, this looks pretty random because. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Um, but if the queen gets there, it it can be tricky. If the knight joins, there are some possibilities that you create something, but it's it's very difficult. I would, uh, yeah, ma or maybe bishop c3 or something like that. I like that diagonal. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, but the diagonal I think is pretty useless because once again, if he goes for bishop f8, for <laughs> example, mm -hmm. then what is your plan? I mean, you can. I just like the diagonal. You like the diagonal. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I don't have a plan. It just looks pretty. I mean, <laughs> yes. why do we need a plan? <laughs> oh, but you can. I don't know. You can play bishop d4 maybe and knight b6, just a position away. Is that an, uh, is that an option? Yeah, it, definitely an option. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're too slow. Yeah, I didn't look at those uh, h3 maybe. Aggressive moves. Yeah, it's only move, right? Yeah, maybe in, uh, queen c3 is a nice one. Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, I still you use still trick f4. Me, yeah, it wants to trick you. I also have g6, yeah, I can. I right, g6 as well, okay. good see. Uh, it's, it's okay for black as well. Yeah. Maybe, again, rook a3 here. I like it. You, you like rook a3 <laughs> every game. Huh? Yeah, but it, it, it's pretty okay move. It was played in I the guess. game, by the way. <laughs> Was playing the game. Yes. Okay. You, you have options. He went for bishop b4. Yeah. I guess it's pretty similar. Rook a3. It's not. It's a nice move. Yeah. Bishop d7. Knight b6. Rook b8. And rook g3. Now who's attacking who? And bishop e8 back. Interesting to see how Black is going to maneuver this game. Where's the bishop going? Does he want to keep the bishop alive? Is that it? Maybe. Maybe he wants to go knight d7, exchange the knight on b6. Yeah. Feels like a clever idea. And, okay, so the big question is how are you going to respond to a move like bishop c3, which is a bit too late now, maybe? Mm, bishop f6, perhaps? Yeah, you want to exchange those bishops. Yeah? yeah. This feels like the bad black bishop. Exchanging that one looks. Especially the white one is very active. Yeah. So 97 was likely the threat, it's not really a threat, mm -hmm. but his plan. You have this guy, I mean it's not, not so bad to have this guy. Protected pass pawn, always useful. Yeah, we see him uh, th thinking uh, now, white is thinking at the board. That's a real chess pose, right? Yes. There. yes. That's how we do it. <laughs> Indeed, concentrating. I used this this when I was younger, and felt like whenever you put your hands here, yeah. it feels like the engine starts running like crazy. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's it's firing up the the, the, the brain engine. Yes. Um, for some reason, you can um, you can um, control the move somehow. You can keep everything together. Yeah. I sometimes do it in normal life as well when I'm thinking, but then people <laughs> look a bit strange at you. <laughs> when your kids are yelling and running around, you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how chess affects our life. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> mm. Let's uh, move to another I, I think we game. Should yeah, uh, should we take board four? I think that's um, yeah, that's sure. Um, this uh, is uh, well black is only ten minutes left there. Yeah, Against and black is in trouble. I think. Yeah. It looks very shady. Yes, it does. 
That is uh, Alwa Nurmanova against Chao Chin Cheng. I'm so happy you are uh, taking the responsibility of pronouncing <laughs> all the names. <laughs> Probably the, they're incorrectly pronounced, but anyhow. Well, yeah, so we have this one. Scene. Yes. And uh, here. Bishop before, we haven't seen yet. So now you can take the pawn, but uh, it's kind of tricky, I guess. Why? Or is it like a uh, question or a statement? Um, <laughs> it's more like a question, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Normally <laughs> here in these kind of positions you have queen g4, but the, there's no yeah. queen g4 now. Um, so what? Why? Why didn't Black play this? That is a good question. I think you have. Okay, so there might be yeah, some similar. Well, ah, dc6. Yeah, I think. Normally, of course, you would play bc6, but in this position, I think bc6. Yeah, you have the pawn, you want to exchange queens. Yeah. yeah, so my plan was after bc6 to go queen d4, knight of 6, yeah. and then go bishop a3. Yeah, then you have a compensation for sure. Yeah, but maybe I should change this idea, and maybe I will have to. Um, sorry, maybe. I should play it immediately, but it feels a bit loose because the knight is still here, yeah. and y you have moves like queen a5 maybe to just get rid of the pressure, get rid of the bishop. But even uh, knight c3, knight d4, I think there's some. Uh, knight c3 there. is also hanging. Yeah, okay, I'm just hanging, hanging stuff here. People at home saw the familiar face, Leonard Otis, walking from the webcam. He does that at every big chess tournament. Yeah? That's his job. He walks in front of the camera at every big chess tournament. <laughs> okay. You always mm -hmm. see him. You always see a glimpse of him. Um, he is here, by the way, to, um, among others, to um, provide the technical uh, support and the photos, of course. Um, yeah, but why didn't yeah. Black play it? We still don't have an answer. We have no answers. We want answers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it felt like a good move, but okay, let's see what the game yeah. uh, brought us. A6, BC6, E5, Knight E4. Okay, I mean this is yeah. this is very typical. Yes. And uh, Bishop E7 back is mysterious, at least. Why? Yeah. Why not just castle first? Yeah, good question. Um, okay, we shouldn't be too harsh on these kids, by the way. They try their best. Yes. Um, maybe it's a good move. I mean, we're also guessing a bit um, yeah. in a few seconds here. Our first instinct kicks in. But this looks uh, nice for, uh, for white. Yeah. I think you have to play a move like King of Eight here. Yes, you cannot. Well, I wouldn't take. The black squares are too weak. Yeah, and, and now you need to. How are you. you um, you wanna this is annoying. You want to play knight c8 somehow, but yeah. you have to go like rook b8, bishop oh, b7, knight a c8. a5, bishop a6. Ah, you perhaps. have the clever solution, yeah. And then knight c8. Yeah. And but it takes a lot of time. Yeah, you can play a move like f5, sorry, f5 maybe. Yeah. To gain some space. But it's, it's already a bit, um, things went wrong here, clearly. Yeah. So black took, now this is an um, easy way of solving your problems, but the next problem is that you have weak and dark squares yes. and you don't have any dark square bishop and this is going to be the king on c1 here well the king is on g1 but he's going to be uh, the strongest piece in the game potentially yeah. controlling all the dark squares bishop e3 bishop c5 yeah. yes okay now indeed uh, hmm. she was uh, planning uh, knight c8 yeah so bishop c5 not really useful for that reason yeah indeed then you can go knight e7 maybe and cancel if you're fast yeah. Still, it's very tricky because um, this piece is also yeah. awful. So queen d4 played, and this is the game, right? Yeah, black yeah. is thinking. Yeah, so no, white, is wh white is thinking. Yeah, black just made a move. No, it hasn't registered here yet. Did white make a move? Yes. I'm ah, sorry, yeah, black made a move. Black still played knight c8, and uh -huh. now it's white thinking. Yeah. White is 25 minutes, black 10 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes, you're getting in the danger zone. You only have like one or two occasions where you can think for a bit. Yeah. But white. Queen g4. Yeah, played. It's, it plays Ooh. itself. 
it's so easy. Castle now. is not possible because of bishop h6. This is the point in the game where you do consider castling just to get rid of yeah, all the issues. Yeah, true. But, <laughs> but then you're an exchange down. But these pieces are not the strongest. No. This is looking terrible. So what to do? G6, more uh, gatenkaas? More gatenkaas. <laughs> Mm. I don't know. White cannot s directly uh, profit from uh, from all the holes, from all no, the black there's squares. There's no need to, right? No, that's true. That that's is true. If you just play rook d1 and um, yeah. double up on the d file, put the bishop on c5, yeah. play f4, f. I mean, you can do anything. Doesn't matter. Black is completely stuck. Bishop c5 on c5 is a lot far. Do you know that? Yeah, I know that one. Um, <laughs> it's in Dutch. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what it means, so. Lopen op twee velden afstand. Oh boy, there we go. <laughs> so the, ah, from the, the bishop knight. from uh, the knight. So the bishop controls the knight uh, fully. Yeah, because it's covering all. Not that one. It's covering all the. Exactly. Squares yeah. the knight can go can go to. Yeah. It's a famous uh, Dutch trainer uh, who uh, who uses this uh, term. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm poorly educated. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You did fine by yourself. I'm I'm <laughs> hanging in there. No, I, I I think this this is this game is pretty. I mean, White still need to win, but looking at the position and the time on the clock, yeah, it's I difficult. think we can uh, say that White is um, has a very large advantage there. Yes, agree. So what else do we have? Yeah. Um, the there's an end game there already at um, board four, uh, uh, the Netherlands one, and then board three. Yeah, that's an end game, but it doesn't look too exciting. Shall we? That is true. Shall we take the? F yeah, let's pick match two, board number three. I see uh, Kong against Feng. That is. That is looking it's exciting. Yep. There's stuff going on there. Tactics. I smell tactics. And it is uh, wide to move. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we have the right player. Why is what, what, ha what happened here? Uh, we had a pretty, ah, this was the isolated pawn with black. Ah, yes, yes. Queen d6, so black was supposed to try to go for the initiative, mm -hmm. which is not impossible, but always a bit difficult. No, okay. it's not isolated pawn anymore. Now we have the famous hanging pawns. Yes. Normally the pawns there, you have hanging pawns. Yeah. I'm not sure if these are officially hanging pawns, but I just call them like that, yeah. as uh, everyone does. 92. Okay, so this looks tricky, but I, I think this is no big deal for white, because it's hard to attack the pawn and you're covering all these squares, so it's quite nice. Your uh, king is not that weak. Nope. nope. So that's good. Therefore, knight e4 was played. Knight e5, and this is where the fun starts. Bishop e6 and knight f4. So white is activating the pieces. Queen e2. A5. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, one move back. Ah, uh, no. I wanted to do rook c5, but you can still do uh, knight c5. Mm. Otherwise, you have queen c5, knight e6, pawn f6, a e6, knight e7, some tactics there. And then maybe ending with uh, queen d4 or something like that, but that's, uh, no. You just have knight c5. It's just a big uh, exchange of pieces, yes. you don't even win material. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And also knight c5, is, it doesn't work. Yeah. But okay, we have, so but something similar. Queen could have two. happened because a5, mm -hmm. rook fd1, and here f6, and that is a very brave move. Because now your bishop is only protected by the queen. Yeah. And the queen has stuff to do. Because the queen has to defend the bishop yeah. in some occasions when the knight goes. Yeah. You also have knight c4. I think you can already win a pawn like this. Yes. Knight c4, the queen has to and defend the bishop. Knight a5. Knight a5. Yeah. But maybe the knight is trapped. I'm, I'm not sure. But how do you attack the knight? Bishop b4? No. Yeah. No, rook a8 is also not possible. And you can't move the queen, queen because the bishop possible. is hanging. 
Feels like quite a could have won a pawn. Yeah, right? indeed. In the meantime, I see a lot of our analysis actually being played on several boards, which is always, always a good sign. Nice. Yeah, so f6 and knight e, d, uh, this what this it feels like a big opportunity here. There must have been some tactic working. Yeah. And knight c4 you feels feel like it a after f6. Yeah, right. the leaving the bishop on e6 yeah. only defended by the queen is Yeah. All the alarm bells go off. Yeah. But knight d3 was played and now black play I couldn't really see what knight g5? No, what did she play? I saw her Yeah. Oh no, that was a different uh, Oh, yeah. I think it is It's a pity. But okay, is. still uh, the bishop on e6 is uh, uh, kind of weak. Somehow he just keeps switching back to the different. I'm trying to, uh, maybe something with the cameras is funky, but. Yeah, there this she is. is her. Yeah. So it is your thing is thinking. I, I, I think what I want to do is I want to play bishop b6 and bishop f7. I want to yeah. keep those guys safe. Yeah. And that's for the bishop the best way to support the center. Yeah. I mean, th these guys are long, long range. And they don't want to be too close to the action. Yeah, true. So let's just put them on b6 and f7. Uh, okay, she played bishop a a7. That's um, that's uh, rescuing one bishop. Yeah, maybe even better <laughs> because now with a4 and rook b8, you have some yeah. potential there. Maybe I don't know. But one bishop is safe, but the other one still isn't. Would you take it with white? I think so because I think my knight is a bit awkward on f4. Yeah. I'm even scared of g5 moves at some point. And the thing yeah. is, if the bishop goes here, then... Yeah, then the bishop is better than the knight. I think so, yeah, because your uh, uh, knight on two square distance uh, thingy <laughs> is uh, not working out in your favor this time, I think. No. Because after g5, True. once again, it has to go here. I don't want, I don't say you want to go g5, but the fact that yeah. it's the only accessible square And knights defending shady. each other is good when it's uh, in front of an isolated pawn on a strong field. But in this kind of position, it's not really favorable. No, so just take the bishop. And now maybe you want to control these squares. So yes. you want to do something like knight f4 bishop. is looking at me. Ah, but then you're putting another knight in that square, which yeah, I wasn't too true. excited about. Yeah, but I thought maybe queen a6 to, to try uh, something ah. there. Okay, so Freeing I, up. knowing what your plan is, I'm <laughs> going to play this one. So after this, I can probably take here. Uh, yeah, that is true. Although, I can play knight d5, maybe. I can play knight d5. What, you just... Oh. Take it easy now. He does it every now and then. Uh, but you're just giving up a piece, right? You can't take on f2. No, I won't take on c8. Oh! But uh, 91, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> Rook c8, 91, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> mm. uh, no, but then, yeah. Uh, then it's it's winning from back. Yeah. Yeah, I actually wanted to go like bishop a3 maybe and just put a piece here. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if you go c5, now you, got, now you got 94 yeah. with the double attack. Yeah. And if you move your rook, then maybe just a move like knight c5. Yeah. And once you have the pawns blocked, I mean, this is still yeah, coming at some point. Definitely. Um, this is better. Better positionally. I always want to uh, go for the kill. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm happy to make it out alive here today. <laughs> <laughs> so, live board. Are any of the game finished uh, already, actually? I don't think so. The top uh, the top boards, boards right? uh, maybe not. You maybe you can have it. I'm not sure how quick yeah. they are with updating chess results, but you can have Let's a look see. at um, uh, whether they're already games yeah, finished. Yeah, just enter. This is uh, or refresh. Let's see. <laughs> I'm uh, not used to this. Uh, computer. Yeah, no, I think you should <laughs> just take. Um, yeah, thank you. I don't see any results. No, no, me neither. I'm not sure if they update them, so... Um, 
we'll find out about it. I, I can check here by the way I have a massive list of games and yeah I see a few results hey I see a Dutch win that's good that's good it's I think that's the third Dutch team yeah some results coming in mainly victories of course but uh, most of the games are still ongoing which is actually surprising to me because I expected more games to finish yeah. um, in the first round. So Because we've played for over an hour already, and uh, well, a lot of games still uh, going on. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to put the actual position on the board. I think this is why they're still thinking of the bishop a7, right? Yeah. All right. Very quickly, just as I briefly mentioned, a few games actually saw uh, our analysis getting on the board. Tommy Groot against Xiao Tong, um, knight d4 happened, and this all happened. Oh yeah. And this nice. is the current position. Nice. So a little update there, and also the game between Koliavko and Verhey saw the end game on the board, which we had in our analysis with the rook taking on h8. Just go back to where we left, which is after the move. D5, and yes. here she needs. Ah, took on c6 first and took on e4, doesn't matter. Yeah. And took the rook. And now we will see the answer to the question <coughs> is the e pawn dangerous? And no. Answer is no. No. That's a very it's solid. Really, uh, oh. a piece up. Why did he. Ah, he went to the live position. Okay, sorry. Bishop e8, knight e5, trying to lock up the yeah. rook on h8 but i don't think it's ever gonna work no. you can do without even two pieces against the rook is yeah. is fine yeah no why is just simply gonna yes this should be able to win this game yeah indeed okay so so far an update on those two games um well it's interesting to see that uh normanova against cheng cheng actually managed to cancel And that is um, not too bad. She uh, she managed. She castled. Wow! Here, ninety seven was played, mm -hmm. and oh, she, she no went for uh, bishop c five. No queen g seven. Yeah, that's a bit surprising. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Queen g seven, rook g eight. I guess you take, take an everything. Seven. And then c five probably. Yeah. Okay, f three or. G3 or G4? G3, G4. <laughs> yeah, that's Perhaps. It's too much, but um, this looks like a. I think you're off two pawns. Yeah. Should and be enough, right? Instead of a dominating position. Yeah, it, but she didn't C5 play. C5's hanging. Yeah. Yeah, she went for bishop C5, but now black castled. And now. Now, the now there was no bishop H6 anymore. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, but, but bishop h6, when the knight is here, you ah, only yeah, have knight g6. Yeah, knight so g6, true. Castling is a threat, but I. Yeah, you should take on g7, I suppose. I mean, you're still better. Oh, you're probably still winning, because black is completely paralyzed. Yeah. But if you have the chance to grab two pawns, then I guess I'll take this opportunity. Little victory for Chang there. At least the king is safe. Still. Yes. Not out of harm's way. No, but but much better. We uh, have some time issues in um, where is that uh, Danny's Kwan Kwandikuli? He has only two minutes 40, 41 left. Ah, uh, Danny's. It's kind of a, um, a, a rook ending, and he's uh, two pawns down as well. So probably he's. Uh, He's finding it difficult, Al although in a rook ending you never know what, uh, what is going to happen. This is almost symmetrical position. Yeah, but you're, you are two pawns down, right? <laughs> <laughs> you are. That's surprising. <laughs> <laughs> You'll think, yeah, equal. Yeah. No. Okay, the extra pawn in the A file is not... Uh, not well, uh, after rook b5 it is. Uh, yeah, true. Yeah, low on time. Yeah, so this seems so winning for uh, for the Dutch guy. Now rook b4 played by black. That's a good move. Yeah, it's, it's not Trying over yet. Trying to get some initiative. 
I mean, the position space. will simplify very, yeah. very quickly. I mean, yeah. it has the potential to simplify yeah. super quickly with all the pawns attacking each other here in the center. Yeah. No, I mean, 10 seconds is enough to somewhat properly play in a game like this, this 10 second increment. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can. D takes e5 is played and king takes e5. The other board is a little quicker. Yeah, um, see I think we need to um, let's see if I can bring some overview in. I'm not sure which overview they are in. Let, let me just uh, get a few cameras. Oh, that's um, that's each end. <laughs> that's a close up. <laughs> yeah, it's now having many cameras is very nice, but it's difficult to uh, find, to find the correct player. <laughs> yeah, he's right on the left of Arthur, but I I don't think we have a good shot of him. No. Too bad. No, this is downstairs. I'm, I'm going everywhere now. <laughs> now we see him on the back. At least yeah. it's the third orange shirt yes. on the left. Yeah. Indeed. You shouldn't give me too many buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Guys and their buttons. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> so oh, nice. <laughs> So D takes E5 is played. I don't know why it's not here. <coughs> King takes E5. Because I'm slacking D E5, King E5. That? Yeah. This is uh, kind of interesting. I think there may be some draws. A chance okay, still. Okay, but now I can I play F4? You can always play. I don't know if it's correct, but Me you can always try. W what's your plan? King takes okay, E4. Okay, so, so plan is now I want to become active. F1. So yeah. king five, and I want to take on d five. Why not uh, rook f five instead of uh, taking on d five? I, I, yeah, I got probably a very good option too. I, my plan was to at least try to bring this guy and then go here and yeah. check and take. That's also nice. Yeah. Um, but but it is simplified a lot. Yeah, this is probably a strong move. Yeah. Can't go here because of this, and if I go here, then I'm blocking the e file. Yeah. Um, so rook f five probably is. Um, King e6. Yeah, I think we're going to look for Prajit Sai Kumar now. We're going to point the later camera right at him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think he's sitting behind. Um, that's not going to be possible. Too bad. Um, King e6, <coughs> rook takes d5. Yeah, this is this is a very viable option, I think. Yeah, now you threaten to create a yeah, massive this is majority. Yeah, nice uh, for white. But still, with, with two rooks, it's always... Yeah. Well, it's tricky because yes. it, this rook becomes this rook yeah, becomes active. Yeah, like you a few checkies, checks. but you can go to f4. But still, the, the rook on a1 is not active yet. And if you have two black rooks uh, which are active, I mean, if you're going for this, then you it's have to almost be mate, careful. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is still uh, difficult. But then the time advantage is really going to help. Yeah, it is because there's going to be a point where you have to calculate something. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. Okay. We made a mess. The <coughs> what other games are there to see? What's interesting? Okay, let's have a look at. Um, hmm. I see some some tactics, um, but they all seem to just simplify the position. And maybe, what's happening at uh, the fourth board in the second match? Between Boyd Lenin and Miao Yi Lu. I want to see what's ah, going on there. Yes. White is in some trouble there, it looks like. Yeah, it does look like. So. Oh, <laughs> some trouble. Oh, that looks dicey. What happened there? I think we left the game. Um, this was this um, symmetrical position, yeah? She looks very confident. I'm yes. She scares me just. Yeah, I saw her indeed. I thought, wow, I don't want to play against her. No, she's <laughs> in, she's intimidating. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm, I'm even want to dare to analyze her moves. She's, uh, <laughs> oh, that's that's I like that. That's that's the look of confidence. Holy. Yeah. So now G three is. Uh, the door is open. G3 is, um, that's, that's, um, no, that's. Where, where did we leave off? Yeah, a few months before, but G3 yeah. is not, 
No. G3 is not the move. No. No. I mean, you might have to at some point, but not, not now. now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's up with knight b5? Am I missing something here? Mm, queen g5? Okay, answer is yes. I was missing something. Looks like it. Yeah, it seems to be winning. So g3 prevents it. No, it's. Yeah. yeah, but it's. No. No, okay, g3 played. Actually, g3 you only want to play if you cannot do anything else to avoid some mates or yeah. losing material. But now you're just weakening your king side. Yeah, king h2, knight e5. Yeah, now black is. It's power play. Yes. Yeah, you can't really allow knight f3, so y you almost have to play f4, it feels yeah. like. And here, rook d2. That's a strong move. That is nice. And and what now, about I, now I know why she's so confident. Okay. Wow. What uh, if I just take the knight? What yeah, happens? Yeah, that's what happens in the game. F5 yeah. and now queen d3. Wow. Okay. Okay, so the good thing is she is looks super confident and he just <laughs> doesn't care. <laughs> Look yes. at that. He's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> he just. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no, just playing a game here. I don't see the Let's problem. See. Okay, black wants to play rook e2, right? That is the threat now. Yeah, you can't even take back with the knight because no. the queen is hanging. It's, yes. uh, it's a pin. But okay, he can do something about it. He can play rook f2, perhaps? Yeah, I'm not even sure this is good what black's doing. No. Oh, let me just briefly. Here, here, uh, piece down, right? Just briefly. I mean, here you, you can play any move, right? I mean, you can just yeah. go knight d3. Yeah. And uh, the thing is, this will always be weak. You feel yes. like you need to uh, act immediately to to punish whatever what's doing, but it's yeah. not necessary. You can just wait. Yeah. It's always going to be like this. But that is difficult psychologically. Yeah, it's You hard. want to uh, try to profit from it immediately. Yeah, but also, I, I think, especially with younger players, they find it hard to understand like long-term advantages. Yes. That you see like tactics and... Um, yeah, this looks like a good move. And I mean, this also looks like a very good move, but you're suddenly risking everything Yeah. while white was in going to be in trouble for a long time anyway. Yeah, indeed. Um, and now you're a piece down. Rook e1 played, queen e3. Um, you have one pawn. What's up with bishop c1 here? Yeah. Good question. Thank you. He played <laughs> it. Yeah. And there goes what bishop h4 instantly. No way. Okay, this is all or nothing. What? Okay, take on h4 is queen e5, which is kind ah, of a good move. I missed actually. Oh, that's that is. This is nice. That is some good stuff. Okay, queen g1, uh, king g1, king, queen and g3 mate. checkmate. Yeah. That is. Oh. The qu the queen going back. That's easy to miss as well. So you cannot take. If you take on d2 with uh, queen g3 mate, mm, it's a nice move. I think there, sh there should be a uh, defense. Bishop f3, yeah, because you have. Oh, sorry, the bishop is on f3. What yeah, am I doing? But I, I don't know. Maybe it is a possibility. Ah, and then you take on d2. Yeah. Exactly. And then it's checkmate. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, that was fun when I left. Bishop nice. h4. Nice move. So at the opening, we, we had uh, a break dancer. Yeah. And we challenged the kids to uh, <laughs> make even crazier moves than he did. But um, she's. This is um, definitely a break dance move. She's going crazy with the moves. I mean, rook d2, bishop h4. Very nice. I'm, I'm curious whether it's all correct, but it is spectacular in, in any case. Yeah. So, rook g1 is also not possible because of queen f2. How are you going to defend it? Knight e4 is not possible, queen b3. What are you going to do? Well, this is the moment where I would start worrying a little bit if I was white. Yes, <laughs> I, I would also do. He is maybe a bit... Yeah, she now is very, very confident. Yeah, she showed And now we she understand why. Yeah, she saw it coming. <laughs> I mean, she, wow. played it, she played it instantly. Wow, very nice. Maybe rook e1 was... Maybe he thought, yeah, th this is it. Maybe you have to play something more precise here. I guess r I still like rook f2 though. And because if you got, if you do the same, then you can, it feels like more defense. But I'm, 
Yeah, now bishop h4 you can, you can take, take and play rook and f4. And rook f4, yeah. Oof. Then still, no, rook e2, knight e2, queen e2, rook f2. Yeah, yeah, to finish the line. Let's analyze properly. Oh, the other, uh, the other rook. I'll yeah, because e5 is not covered. Ah, yeah, so. it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, Boyd is like, hmm, bishop h4. Yeah, it's easy to miss. What I was ho oh, yes, for sure. It is very easy to miss. Is there uh, th is there no defense at all? Can't you give back some material? You play like knight e4. Yeah, but then still everything is still hanging, right? Uh, it's a full queen and then a rook and yeah. Uh, but your knight on e4 is hang everything is hanging. Somehow you have to take like that because otherwise it's still queen g3. Yeah, but and bishop e4. No, this is not possible for white. Is it? A rook and a bishop and a broken position. Yeah, but your king is still shaky. Yeah, this is. That's maybe your best try is something like this. But yeah, I think that says enough about your position. Yeah. Fortunately for uh, for, for a white player. For Boyd. Yeah. No, this is an uh, amazing attack. Yes. I, I, I have no clue if it's correct. I think White has a better defense here. Uh, you went 94. E4 is yeah. played. He, um, he played 94. Yeah. Yeah, perhaps the only possibility. Yeah, they're both at around six minutes, uh, which is the case now on every board because they're all below 10 minutes. So yeah. now the mayhem starts. Yes. Um, so what is <laughs> nice to see? But <laughs> things are going so fast now. So there's someone on 30 seconds. Ah, he chan won the game. Really? We have a result. We have to see, see what happened there. One. Yeah, it's hidden oh, for you. Oh, I see the end position. Looks nice. Yeah, let's see what happened there. Just quickly what happened. Um, H6. H6, that's, that's asking for... I mean, every London player has this in his repertoire. Um, yeah. I'm so you don't castle then nah. with white? You just keep the king in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Or you castle queen sides. But the thing is, the, the center is closed, so you can... Yeah, that's true. Oh, he goes h4. g4. Queen g4. Oh, queen g4. Queen a3. He takes oh, opposite color uh, bishops. Yeah. h5. You see, it's, it's hard for black to yeah, find moves. it is. Castle queen side. Takes it's the G seven, right? Oh, taking that pawn is. Oh, it's a poison pawn. That's that's very. It's like your biggest defender is the H five yeah, pawn. Yeah, indeed. You need that pawn. Now it's piling up. Oh yeah, and you just allow oh, this one. It's okay. Uh, yeah. That's what you call collapsing under pressure. Only one minute on the clock, so yes, it's hard indeed. hard to play. Just but the next move would be rook h1 anyway. Yeah, if you leave the queen on g6, this one is coming. And I yeah. It's very it is difficult. hard. Yeah. Okay, nice victory. Yeah, very nice. First point for the Netherlands. And the also, Netherlands Dana Verheij lost her game, so that matches 1-1 one, one at the moment. Um, she was down the piece in the end game um, against uh, Koliakko, yeah. So Indeed. Is is Nurmanova is close to winning, but not quite. Let's see. That's the first match, board number four, where we have Nurmanova mm -hmm. playing against Cheng, and we left the game here after Black just managed to castle. Yeah. Queen d4, d5. It's a clever move because you need to do something to free up your pieces. Yeah. It's it costs you a pawn, but it's well. I think it's a good attempt at least. Yes. G4. I mean it's I don't know. Completely it's winning for white, but <laughs> yes, indeed. For some reason, the game looks like it's still a game. Yeah. Ooh, C5. Very nice. Yeah. But this is forever. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Rookie five. Oh. Yeah, black down to ten seconds. Oh, we have many moves. Sorry. Oh. Rook E5. Rook Bishop H7. Oh. Rook G5. And the Queen of six. Yeah. Done. Beautiful, and yes. she executed the mate. And, um, yes, very nice. Good victory for uh, Normanova, even though she 
maybe should have taken the palms, but clearly yeah. the position was so good. Yeah. Um, yeah. First victory for the first team of uh, Kazakhstan. Yes. And so let's uh, see the other two games in the uh, Netherlands one because it's one one. So uh, match points are important. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, some Arti de Winter. Yeah, there's some end games there. This is the end game of Arti de Winter. And, um, They've played a lot of moves because they both have quite some time still. Or is it 19 seconds he has? Oh, he has 19 seconds. Yeah, I think Arti was on some overview shot. Match number four. Um, yes, there yeah. he is. Mark only has She's 19 seconds. Our technical guy is lighting fast. Um, wow, this is a tricky... Uh, yeah, 19 seconds against 12 minutes. Yes, okay, and so the black is up uh, two pawns. Mark Smirnov is in um, trouble. Yes, he so is. So let me just go back quickly. What happened here? This was... Ah, it was this Sicilian. Yeah, ah, yes. B5, E5. Yeah, I didn't play King B1, played E5 immediately, yeah. of course, E F4 and E5, yeah. Now I get it, Knight G4, okay, let's just fast forward to the game. Black took a pawn and he was allowed to do so. Yeah. yeah. Just defense. King H8, bishop, exchange, wins back a pawn. Mm -hmm. oh, loses it's a pawn. <laughs> gone again. <laughs> Knight F7 doesn't work. Unfortunately. Yeah. Shoot d5, knight f5, simplifying. Intermediate move number two. Yeah, another pawn. And uh, defending. Yeah, this is uh, two pawns up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then exchanges, but black is. Um, needs some time, but the king gets there. Yeah. Uh, this, this will. Uh, will be okay for Surely, but slowly. Yeah. There's all the time in the world. Put yeah. your bishop on maybe c4. And... Uh, yeah, you went to f5, I think. Yeah. Uh, f5 is also possible. Then you have still the option of yeah. maybe attacking the pawn, if you like. And also supporting g5. Yes. Or uh, allowing g5. Creating Kay. a pass pawn. Yep. Should be enough. And I... So that... Looks like 2 1 for the Netherlands. And I think uh, Prajit Sari Kuma is also winning his game. Yes. Against uh, Danis. Uh, Indeed. Oh, yes. This is, uh, this is very difficult for Black. Yeah, you're just down two pawns. Yeah. And. Two, two run. Uh, not so quick, but they, <laughs> they, they, they do run. Yeah, they do <laughs> run, yeah. <laughs> Don't really have any counter play as Black, no. so. This is uh, this should be victory. So it looks like three one for the Netherlands. Oh, Miao Yi Lu, she didn't even take the queen. Oh, we have to see that. Sorry, what Boyd. <laughs> These are not your five minutes of fame you were expecting, but your opponent is playing too strong here. <laughs> Ninety four. Ah, she did take the. Yeah, queen takes b. No, sorry, that was her analysis. Oh, so she played something. What did else. she do? Ah, she took an e two. Rookie two. He, there's a full queen you can take. <laughs> and then even took the rook. Wow! Is this correct? Is it winning? I don't know. Rook f2, queen e4. I think you have queen d1 here. Queen d1? But um. instead, boys, he took on h4. Ooh. And then it was just losing a rook. Yeah, and with and check. Ch checkmate. And king uh, on f4. But I think. King uh, but black, is, black is up a piece. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay, you can do anything you like. Yeah. Great wow. game. Great there's game. There's a full queen hanging and you don't even take it. Yeah. <laughs> Why should she you? She didn't care all along. <laughs> <laughs> Very nicely played. She has respect for the ladies. Keeps them on the board. <laughs> yeah, beautiful game. Really beautiful game. Yes. Um, so that's 1-0 for China. Okay, I, I really like to see... I think match one, board one. Yes, Kazakhstan against Australia. Yeah, that is uh, Fu against Ansat. Yeah. And um, we left the game somewhere in the middle game. I'm just going to fast forward to the actual position. 97 was played, exchanges. 
bishop goes to your favorite diagonal. Yes. Um, some exchanges there. All the minor pieces are being exchanged, I think. Yeah, bishop b5 takes. But the pawn structure is really weird. Um, so Rook b2 is a um, good move. Yeah, stopping queen e2. Yes, exactly. That's troublesome. Yeah, and uh, maybe defending g2. So uh, I like this move. H5, H3, Rook G3, Rook C7, Rook E8. And E3 is coming. Yeah, so it's just nice. This Rook is attacking, but also very important yes. defending on G7. Queen E1. It's also attacking H5. But now I you want to get your Queen close somewhere yeah. somehow but I'm not even sure how is this yeah you need to be careful because then there's this at least a perpetual yeah yes indeed so e3 is not possible is it isn't it queen h5 and Threatening a perpetual. Yeah, I least. don't think you can stop that in a proper way. You can play rook f8, but the third board is a draw, by the way, between Hu and Mamedov. Yes. Drawn rook end game. Fair enough. Indeed. We're setting up the pieces. Well, this is a very good of Australia, by the way. Of Hu. He's uh, true, yeah. He was against a much stronger opponent. Exactly. Course. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to play e3, but what are you going to play? You want to do something that after... But this is such a direct threat with queen f7. Yes. What did he play? I mean, time is... He has 30 seconds. g6? No, no, no. e3, queen h5. Oh. But black is down to 30 seconds, and white is still 5 minutes, which is massive, because yes. he has at least one moment to think properly and... and Calculate something, and you can see black is really yeah, focused. Black is the the better player on, e on, paper, on he, paper. He allows the perpetual. Oh, the perpetual! But then at least you have a perpetual. So if you have five minutes and nine seconds to think about uh, whether there's uh, there's yeah. something more. But there's nothing, right? I also don't think so. But okay, you can see now he's relaxing. He's leaning yeah. back. He's like, okay, I got a draw. Yeah. Um, and I'm checking the other games. Should I take a draw? Well, no, but um, yeah, you have no choice sometimes. But is there... No, E1 is so strong. Yeah, it goes for the check. Yeah, King, King H8. H8. Or H7. And yeah, H8. Not. Yeah, otherwise you maybe have Queen F5. And mm. now have you got something clever? Now he's... E1 is coming, so you have to do something with check. Yeah, he almost he almost feels like ah oh, so close to checkmating, but this is it. This should be a draw. He, he looks right? a bit upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. Let's see. Ah, There's Tommy Grote lost his game against Xiao Tong, and also Elisia yes. Feng lost her game against Kong. Yeah, the Dutch yeah. team is um, suffering against China. Yes. Which was as expected on rating. Yes. But we always indeed. hope for some surprises like Australia. Yeah. So they have three zero uh, down. Indeed. Yeah, I think this is a draw. Um, four. Shall we this see how draw. the other games ended? Or do we pick up? We should watch a lot of games, yeah? Yes. So board two of um, of Kazakhstan should be interesting because this is going to be a draw. Board three is a draw and board four was a point for Kazakhstan. So, so second board Australia between is two one down. Sapenov and, and Te, I think. How I should pronounce it. There's a queen against two rooks here. One, two, three, four, five pawns. So it should be okay for white. This. I so mean, white needs to draw to clinch yes, the match. Yes, indeed. But it getting a two and a half victory is feels a bit. Um, yeah, for the first game. Indeed, yeah. As, as top seed. Yeah, it, it doesn't really feel good. I I can imagine. But one is a draw. Yeah. Indeed. The question is, 
who's better in such an endgame? Do you like the rooks or the queen, like in general in such the an endgame? The rooks. End game? Yeah? Yeah. Especially in these kind of positions. I mean, you're with two <laughs> instead of with one. <laughs> what do you like? I like the queen, but that's because I always feel like I have an escape in some perpetual, mm. which is never the case. But it's yeah. Uh, uh, the queen also go, can go diagonally, you know? It's fun. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the rooks do struggle on diagonals. <laughs> <laughs> but this this game has been, has been going up and down, right? Have we got repeating moves? Rook b4. What's going on? Queen f5. Yeah, they have the same position. Now, twice. Okay. Well, there is always the possibility of claiming three times uh, the same position, although there's n there's no notation. You went rookie there. Now, White's going to continue because he has more rating and more time. Yeah. Can't blame him. But for the team, uh, it draws enough for White, indeed. Yeah, I think I can say that Prajit Sai Kumar is winning his game against uh, uh, Kwani Kuli. Uh, yeah, he, d he yes, just won. Yes, he just won, and indeed. And Smith of the Winter, the Winter is um, is uh, going, um, it, it's moving forward, so. So the Netherlands one is 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah, it's heading to 3-1 in the Netherlands. Okay. On um, what for? Um, sorry, match four. It's always confusing. Yes, indeed. Zero. Should we look at the Arctic de Winter game? Yeah, it's good. This one is um, some draws vibes. Yes. Or it still takes a while until it's uh, finished. This one is uh, still interesting, looks like. Yeah, so it's black to move, Arctic de Winter is to move, and. Um, because white has some activity, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Oh, the there he is. Arthur is calm and focused. Yes. So, what are we going to do? White is to move, right? No, black no, is black to is move, to of move. course. The thing is, your pawn is hanging. Yes. But if you go rook e3, there's king f2. Yes. Play the move. It's I played bishop d3. And then what happens? Uh, if you take on e5, then I guess he takes on e2 and takes on c3. Ah, uh, yes. I suppose this should be winning somehow. Yes, indeed. So, so knight g1 knight plays, g1. but now you got rook e3. Yeah. No, ah, bishop f1. f1. Bishop f1, that's a oh, nice. strong intermediate move oh, because now nice. you have rook e3 at your disposal if you like. Yes. Unless you have checkmate. <laughs> this is a fun little move. And then? It takes, 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 and then you have this. Uh, yeah, nice. Mate. Might be something funky. Yeah. Yeah, game is over. Uh, how does it end? <laughs> I just played rook after. That's probably also very good. And. G3 is coming or what? The, the thing is you have this checkmate. Ah, yes. Nice. Even nicer. Because it works. Yeah. Or a, a, a bishop G2 and G3. Uh, also, a yeah. Many ways to checkmate. Yeah. Ah, good game by Archer. Yeah. Nice. And board one, also still playing there. That is uh, uh, Owen Shue against Sasha Kurt. And that is... And so the Netherlands uh, one one three one, and this match is let's see two one now. Let's see. I'm no, not sure if we have a live. Ah, yeah, that's of course um, this one. We're looking at uh, the Chinese player now. Yeah. They both have twelve seconds. This is going to be fun. Loose queens all over the place. Oh, this is, oh my goodness. Kings in the middle. Checks King. everywhere. But I think the position is as it is for a while now. Um, I don't think anyone is making progress. 
White feels a bit better because the queen is centralized. Either. It's I mean if you play a queen f5, a queen d5, it's just centralized. It's yes. it's nice. And then you want to slowly approach with king or pawn, but it's you have no time to think. You see that you see uh, happening exactly the problem and he's looking at the board and then at the clock. Yeah. Clock board. Yeah. And you can't really focus or calculate anything. Yeah. Yeah, because you you cannot you cannot uh, go through your flag. Well, the here's the first check. It's almost a bit like uh, how uh, Anish Giri went out of the World Cup. Um, maybe people saw that the moment he was playing the tie breaks and he had 38 seconds and flag. Really? Because at like oh. one or two seconds, he like oh, he looked at his clock oh and he yeah. saw and and then the pieces Froze. yeah went all over the place and um, yeah he didn't manage to physically execute the move in time. Yeah. And this is uh, drawish. Yes. Yeah. You can always make a draw here with white, if you would like. But he's more elo, so he yeah, wants to play. Yeah, he wants to play. Queen, queen f7. F7. There's no checks for black. No. But there's queen e6. Mm -hmm. And you're controlling. Now they have slightly more time. Yeah, queen d6. This is a good TV. No check. no check anymore. What to do? <coughs> I would take the perpetual. <laughs> <laughs> and call the day. Yeah, exactly. Although when I when I did play, I never did that actually. At, at once when I played in Olympia, then the coaches were still um, uh, allowed to tell the players uh, to offer a draw or whatever. Right. Now it's not allowed anymore. But uh, some uh, well, at one point I was trying to win a, a draw end game, and my coach said, "You may offer a draw." <laughs> <laughs> okay, he knew enough. <laughs> yes. Okay, so why went a three? Which is interesting because that's. That's weakening the, his pawn structure yeah. indefinitely. And but okay, a pawn f6, um, you have to uh, hold on to. What did he play? I mean, there's so long time. e4. Ooh. Okay, but he's just going for perpetual now. Yes. Now the, the queen is yeah. uh, okay, kind this of... Is uh, easy perpetual. The only way out is easy? d4. Yeah, and then you always have queen e5 and has to go back. As long as you have check on ah, g3 yes. when the king is on the third yeah. rank, it's always a draw. Yeah, the queen is uh, useless in on f7 now. Oh! Okay. He's trying. Yeah, he's the only one with the best pawn now. He has h5. Ah, clever. I underestimated his uh, fighting spirit there. Nice. Yeah, he's looking at his clock. Ugh, b4. b4. Is it in time? Yes. It was in time here. The <laughs> yeah. We see uh, the flag. I but think we get a lot uh, of moves. It was on time. Let's see if we can see the moves on the Queen white feet. Queen c3. Check. King. But black now has the leverage of c2. just giving checks. Now he can walk out. In any case. No, you you just go queen f2. You protect f6. Yes. You cover c5, and then you and push then your h4. Yeah. yeah. But then you have to, no, you don't have to be careful. Queen e5 is nice as well. That's a good one. Centralize your queen. Yep. Threatening this one with check. Yes. Difficult for white to make the right moves now. Yeah, it check. is. Okay, now you gotta, you, now you gotta go in. Yeah. <coughs> or to h4, also possible. Yeah, but then you, I mean, you just want to also check it maybe. Yes. You can hide behind the white pawns, that's so nice. Yeah. Yes, five seconds. Oh, he, I just love the body language. It's so much fun to see these players up close, yeah. because you can just see them, you can see the tension, and you can see them like, ah, oh, I'm yeah. I messed up. And you looking know? at the clock. Ah, the hair what twirling. To do? What to do? <laughs> <sighs> taking, taking back, and now, what to do? Oh, uh, four. Yes. These Queen nerves are just insane. Yes. This is very. Uh, but very now the thing good. is, what goes C five and. Now white is the most advanced pawn. Yeah. And you have you can have like a million pass pawns, but if they're not close enough to queening, then queen g7 played. Ah, that's winning a pawn. Now he wins h5. Yes. Because yeah? if you True. go here, queen h5. Yes. 
Oh, I just, I, I so much don't miss those nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get a bit nervous watching him being nervous, but. Yes, um, I know. You just can't imagine the nerves. So queen h7 here. Yeah, queen h7. Oh, draw. He offered to draw. Draw. That's uh, very tactical. Why didn't have any time to think of it? About it? Nicely done. Yeah, it's and a strange it moment to offer a draw to me, because white, uh, black is much better. Well, yeah, not, well okay, it's, not it's smart to offer it, right? If you're better, no. Why, are you losing the h pawn? Yeah, but... I then are, are you be better? The queen h7, let's say, let's say king f4, if you take... Yeah? I mean you can win back here. Ah, that is true. But you're still you don't want to pass pawn. No, no, you cannot win it back. Oh, I can't. No. Okay. Yeah, offering a draw is very <laughs> clever. <laughs> Let's show, very uh, clever. show the audience. Okay. <laughs> I'll do the walk of shame. <laughs> Queen H4 check. Okay. Yeah. Nicely, uh, nicely done by. Uh, Good result by Sasha. By Sasha. Yes, okay, so what do we have? All the top games covered are... No, we have still the board second two. board of uh, the first match. Yes. Let's focus on that one. So it's 2-1 there for Kazakhstan. Um, oh, that's the two rooks against uh, the, the queen. Still playing, still uh, fighting. 20 seconds against 47 seconds, so both short in time. King f7? King g1? Ah, okay. That's a nice one. King f7. Rook b5 is not uh, allowed because of queen c6. So king g1 preparing to, uh, to take on b5. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you have to defend it. But now, can't you attack it again? That's the advantage of the two rooks, right? Well, and even simpler, you can just go c4, I yeah. think. I'm having trouble. You want rook a1? Ah, you're just gonna go. Yeah, that's what I would do. But the thing is, then there there's might only be one perpetual check. chances. There's one check. Yeah, but if I go g4, then there is a perpetual. Yeah. But that's why I like c4 because um, what happened? Rook a1, king g6. And the thing about c4 is that you can um, take, you can support your pawn from yes. behind and then push True. it. The queen has to block it, and then you have the extra rook to. Yeah. It is quite okay, he, he, can, he can always play this, so there's no rush. Rook e3, you can try. He's consolidating. You can always play c4. Well, no, not now. Yes, it is possible. c4 takes, rook takes, queen d1, king h2, not g2. Yeah. I prefer to go c4, I guess, with rook here. It's e easier. Yes. This rook is trapped, by the way. I just noticed. Yeah. It has no uh, no f no spaces to go. Oh, they're playing a lot of uh, a lot of moves. The queen is going from one place to another. King g two. Queen b seven probably. Yeah, king g one, queen d seven. Hmm. <coughs> oh, yeah. So you would play rook e one. Yeah, I want to go rook e one. And then c four. And prepare c four. Yeah. Just to create a pass pawn, also to just. Activate my c5 rook, I guess. Yeah. Rook e1 was played. Back to e1. I mean, black is going fast. He has over a minute now. Yeah. King f7. But uh, I don't understand yeah. why he doesn't play g4. Can uh, oh, yeah, pass there, forward it. Yeah. I would, I would have played like g4. f5. Just, yeah. it's always useful, right? King f1. King f1 played? Yeah, then just queen g3. Queen d3 check and yeah, going back, or king yeah, g6. Indeed. Okay, but black has to win for the team. Yeah. But that's impossible, right? Well, only, only if white forces something. Looking at the time, you never know. Yeah. Ah, but now I think they can claim the draw, because I think they have the free time disposition. Okay. That is possible. And... Um, they That's will never the see. There's no claiming uh, done. There's no nobody writing down any moves. No. Yeah, ah, draw. they just agree to yeah. draw. It's the fourth time, I think. <laughs> One, two, three, four, six times. Oh. Yeah, three times. <laughs> I don't know. It's a draw anyway. Yes. But it's it's weird because um, I mean you can try C4. Yes. Right? There's no harm in. Or is there? No, there's no. 
Ah, maybe the thing is that there's Queen D2? Does that bother him? But mm, you would say that you, check. Have, you have check and take you can take here. Yeah. So now the thing is if you... Take on C4? Yeah, maybe? But, but... So the point of these endgames, I, th I mean like an easy... Po okay, you have... Yeah, King, King H2, still possible. Yeah, so basically what happens if, if you get something like this, um, and you manage to defend the pawn, you can always exchange because you'll be up a pawn. Yeah. That's what White is looking for yes. in the end. And then uh, win the pawn end game. Yeah, right? you win the pawn end game. Yeah. But now you even yeah, you even have B4 left, so yes. Queen D1, you have to go... Yeah, this should be enough, right? You, you have to go to H2. You can even go here, right? Why? Because here you have Rook Oh, you don't have F5. Yes. Yeah. Correct. And once again, you can you can never go for the exchange because mm. you always lose every pawn in game. So yeah. White should try something like this and probably succeed. Yeah. Um, but okay, it's it's difficult. You're low on time. Yeah. So now the big question is. So our cameramen are searching the area for mm. any ongoing chess games, yes. but the playing hall looks. It looks deserted. kind of empty. Yes. See an arbiter there. Maybe if we place a camera in the dinner hall, then we find some chess players. Because <laughs> I think this one is... Um, I think uh, it's a wrap. Yeah. I'm, I still see some games that don't have a result here on the live games, but I think every game is finished. Yes. But I'm just waiting for some I confirmation by so. someone who has a better overview than I do. Um, it seems that way. Yeah. Let's see if I can... Ah, yeah, here I have s some results. Not all yet. Yeah, but those are, it's hard to keep those up to date because there's so many results yeah, incoming. But I think the top hall is empty and um, yes. downstairs also empty, right? Empty. I think uh, first game, empty. first round is done. Done and dusted. Um, so let's summarize what happened today. I don't think the chess results is updated no. uh, at the moment. So it we have to um, do this. Um, yeah, verbally and... Um, well, uh, I must say, surprise of the day is Australia. Yes. They put up a really, really good fight. Yes, definitely. And the top s one seed, uh, the top seed, um, Kazakhstan, only managed to beat them with the on minimal difference, two yeah. and a half, one and a half. And on board four, the rating difference was 500 points. So it's uh, it's incredible. Yeah. And on, on all boards, there was 300 points, uh, 500 points. 200 points, 500 points. So it was excellently played by uh, by uh, Australia. Yeah, good good job. Um, and then the second board, we had uh, the fourth team of the Netherlands. Yes. And they did put up a good fight, but yeah. we're not able to make the difference against uh, China. Yeah. Um, even though Sasha Kurt, we just saw make a draw uh, against the Hao and Shui on board one, and therefore China winning three and a half against the half. And um, yes. yeah, that's a good score. I think uh, board match three we didn't really discuss, but there are results, I think. Uh, they are here, yes. Uh, it's 2-2, two -two. Georgia against Turkey. Really? The third uh, team, Turkey, who won the championship last year, by the way, uh, they didn't manage to beat Georgia. Of course, Georgia is always, always good. Always good. Good, uh, good country. So it's uh, surprising that they're only 35, uh, 35th on rating, uh, but uh, they are they are very dangerous. It's uh, the f first board was uh, a draw, 1900 against 2300. Uh, second board, uh, Turkey won. Third board, uh, a difference of 600 points. Anastasia Kirtatse uh, beat Eray Kilic. Excellent. And board four was a draw. So Kilic two is two. their strongest player, but he's playing board yes, three. Yes, he's playing board three, and he lost. That is that is um, not to humiliate Kilic, but um, I just quickly want to see what. Um, and what Georgia there. seems to be playing with two girls. In any case, the fourth is a girl. And Anastasia, yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. So it was Sicilian. Anastasia is uh, jo ah, Georgia, yes. I think uh, uh, Eray Kilic, he's the, the highest rated player of this event, at least 
rapid trading. So, um, wow, he just allowed the pawn to move. Wow, bishop e7 might have been a big mistake allowing c5. The thing ah, is, if you take on c5, yes, there's d6, d6 and um, nice break. I mean, it's simple chess, but it's very effective. Yes. So he had to allow c6, and that's that's not fun. F3, knight g5, bishop takes, 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 b4. Still, you need to convert this, but yes. the pawn on c6 is so strong. F5, rook g1, takes on e4, queen f3. Oh, nice knight. I'm gonna jump in e6, on e6, hello. yes. Ooh. C7. Ooh, this hurts. Good technique by White. Yes. Queen B3, just, you know, simple chess once again, threatening Queen B8. Yeah. Took on E6. Check. And King H7, maybe hoping for some Queen F8 shenanigans. Yes. Feels unlikely though. E7, E7. Uh, H3 is defended. It's working all nicely. Yeah. Now attacking h3, and king, king g2. g2. Mm. And wow. results. Very nice. Nice. Yes. I guess we should remember the name. Definitely. With 1884, beating the, the best uh, of, uh, of Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, so well done by Georgia. And yes. Um, Definitely. We also don't have like a match results overview yet. No, I don't have it yet. It would be nice to put it on screen if we have it, but I um, can't really check. blame the, uh, the arbiter team oh, because there it's going are fast. Ma many, uh, many results uh, Maybe incoming. we can try to put up Maybe some... Maybe it is possible. ...some match results just to see if we can get an overview. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If well, I see uh, uh, in mm. board four, we, we already saw Netherlands wins 3-1 of uh, Kazakhstan 5. Then... Uh, Hungary, fifth seed, wins with 3-1 of Kazakhstan, 4. Uzbekistan, 4-0 against Canada, 2. Azerbaijan, 4-0. Uh, France, 3-1. This is all according to rating, approximately. Right. Israel wins, 4-0. Uh, here we have... Um, Romania wins, 4-0. Uh, Austria results. wins, 4-0. There's a lot of 4-0 there. Ukraine wins, 3.5. Germany, 3.5. Canada 1-3-1, one, one. Armenia 4-0. There's a lot of uh, into the odds. Right. Yeah, we're scrolling through the results now quickly, but uh, nothing Let's out of the ordinary. A surprise there. Yeah, maybe a few board surprises, but uh, the um, teams did their yeah. jobs. Yeah, uh, Except for um, Georgia causing an upset by uh, keeping Turkey to a 2-2 two -two draw. Yes. Which in... In a team event in the first round is, is really difficult. Yes, it is. So a good job by them. All right, Definitely. I think um, we're going to wrap things up for today then. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, we're still scrolling some results. But um, you can always check the results, by the way, chessresult.com, or you can go to the official website and find all the information about the event. Yeah. Um, tomorrow we will start at 10.30. The games will start at 10.30. Uh, we'll be live for like 10, 15 minutes before. Um, the game start uh, just as today. And we have two games tomorrow, one starting at 10.30, the other one starting at 4 in the afternoon. And Correct. Um, we will have two streams basically. We stream in the morning and then stream in the afternoon. So um, yeah, you can follow us, uh, hashtag Youth Olympiad, and of course website and the official FIDE channels. You will find everything you want and need to know about this event, uh, but especially the socials. I know there's a big social media team active here creating content yes. and um, there's enough to see enough to watch and even if you're not here you can experience the tournament as if you were here so um, definitely all right bianca thank you for joining today and we'll also see you tomorrow so yes. um, you're welcome and everyone at home thanks for watching and hopefully see you also tomorrow at 10 30 when the games will start and um, yeah enjoy your evening yeah Goodbye. thanks bye